school football, the longest in the state of Kentucky, and they're ranked ninth in the Commonwealth with 751 wins. Uh, 263 of them have come on the road. 488 have been at the uh, friendly confines of uh, Putnam Stadium. So it's Ashland and Round County here tonight. Hopefully it won't be much of a football game, but that's why we play it. On paper, it looks like a blowout for the Tomcats, but that's why we tee it up. We're going to play this thing. All right, we'll come back and talk to Tomcat head coach Chad Tackett. Tomcat uh, uh, head coach Chad Tackett's pregame comments brought to you by McLeod's Body Shop. Back in a moment here on Cat Sports. Game day is here, and Food Fair has you covered with tailgating and party trays. Whether you're hosting the big game or heading to a party, Food Fair has what you need to make it a great day. Win or lose, from wings and tenders to fresh fruit, veggie trays, and sandwich platters, there's something for everyone. Call ahead, and Food Fair will handle the prep so you can focus on the fun. Food Fair, delightfully local, delightfully fresh, and your tailgating and party headquarters. Head to foodfairmarkets.com. Stop by Toyota of Ashland before or after the game and save thousands during truck month at Toyota of Ashland. Save up to $5,000 off MSRP on select Toyota Tundras and Toyota Tacomas. Up to $3,000 off MSRP. It's truck month at Toyota of Ashland. They look forward to seeing you soon. Stop by 3503 Winchester Avenue in Ashland, Kentucky or visit toyotaofashland.com. Toyota of Ashland truck month. Toyota Tundras is based off stock number T235773 and Tacoma stock number T052137. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics in Ashland is different. Bluegrass Wound Care is not just a wound care center, it's a wound healing center. The experts at Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics provide compassionate and advanced care. Their skilled team, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, is here for you. Make your appointment today and enjoy convenient parking within 25 feet of the door. Call 606-325-6493 or visit bluegrasswoundcare.com. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics, we are wound care in Kentucky. As the Ashland Tomcats take the field, let's also talk about the future of our city. Hi, I am DJ Reimer, a proud Ashland Tomcat alumni and candidate to serve you on the Ashland City Commission. Just like our Tomcats, I believe in teamwork, dedication, and making our community stronger. Together, we can tackle the challenges Ashland faces and create opportunities for all of our residents. Join me in supporting our Tomcats tonight and our community. Let's work together to keep Ashland moving forward. Go Tomcats! And on November 5th, vote DJ Reimer. Paid for by David J. DJ Reimer for Ashland City Commission. This is Tom Cats Football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Coach Chad Tackett, uh, good start to our district play last week. Uh, big win over Green of County. Yeah, really solid win. Uh, I was really proud of our guys. Uh, I thought we had a great effort on both sides of the ball. And, um, kids really had fun. They just they had a, they had a, a fun time playing the game. They had a fun time playing together and. Uh, you know, he really, really felt like family Friday night. Um, you know, we've been we've been preaching that for them to, to get closer and to be more more family oriented. And um, I felt Friday night they really they really enjoyed playing hard for each other and, and had a good time. The results show. Yeah. Well, and, and didn't disturb them that uh, Green went down the field the first time and then we scored 51 straight. Didn't affect them at all. Well, I mean, you know, coming in the game, we we knew Tyson Samuels was a good player and. Um, he made some really nice plays on that first drive and, and, and moved the ball and then punched it in for him. So, um, you know, our kids, our kids, you know, settled down, adjusted. It was it was nasty and wet. We were slipping off of him, you know, off tackles and uh, kids did a better job wrapping up. And uh, you know, we, we we did a better job getting more hats on the ball. So, you know, if you if you watch the film, there were two or three, four guys hitting hitting him at you know at the same yeah. time. So that made a big difference, you know, because if he broke the first or second tackle, you know, we had the third or fourth guy there to wrap him up and get him down. So um, that made a big difference. And then, you know, our guys just settled in and played football. After watching the film, you got to be so pleased with your rushing game because obviously it was difficult to pass and honestly didn't need to. you got to be really pleased. Yeah, in a game like that, in conditions like that, you have to be able to run the ball. And, you know, we, we, you know we, we, we thought we could, you know, but, you know, going to the game, there's a lot of what ifs, you know, especially mm -hmm. running the ball. We've, we've struggled to run the ball at times this year. And, um, you know, we ended up running over 400 yards, and you know the offensive line just did a, just did a phenomenal job. You know, creating holes for our guys, and our backs did a good job. You know, finding those seams, and um, and did a good job holding on to football. So, you know, it was, a, it was an all-around effort by the, by the, the whole offensive unit. And I was really proud of our players and our coaches. You know, uh, all these guys on that side of the ball do a great job. They don't they don't get enough credit, and um, but more more so than anything, you know, that was that was a, that was a player 
that was a player win, you know, yeah. and, and, and and it always is. But um, those guys really showed up to play, and, and uh, I was really proud of them. Two things about the rushing game: you got to be pleased not only with your offensive line, but your, you know, when you split the Lions or Wolf or Duckwild or whatever, they're making the blocks to help out. Yeah, and you know, and that you know that's the that's the crappy part about a game like that. You know, you you know those guys didn't get a lot of opportunities to touch the football <laughs> yeah. because of the conditions, but. Um, you wouldn't know that by watching the film. I mean, they from the first quarter mm -hmm. to the last, you know, the last play that they were in, um, those guys, you know, just blocked magnificently and did a great job, great effort on the perimeter. You know, we, we were able to bust out a couple outside zone plays and um, just really block. You know, Mason Wolf, you know, stands out to me. Uh, some of the blocks he was making downfield, and um, those guys just did a really, really good job. And you, you spread everything out between Strader, Jennings, Davis, and Ashby, they all had big nights. They did, you know, and all those guys, you know, on any given night can go over 100, and, you know, uh, Braxton and Cam went over 100, and, um, you know, you know LeBron, you know, we give him and Mav enough carries, you know, they're going to go over 100. So, you know, those guys did a really good job, you know, complimenting each other and, and taking advantage of their opportunities. Do you see teams, because I, I thought at the first of the year teams were really key in on Braxton, and now that you've got Ashby and Jennings and Strader, do you see teams kind of backing that off a little bit or not? Uh, a little bit. I mean, there's there's time. We we've seen a couple opponents this year kind of kind of key on Braxton, but um, you know Cam's you know Cam's so dangerous back there. You know whether we split him out wide or we put him in the backfield, and um, you know he's I know I know after the Russell game they were really concerned with with Cam. You know, and, um, rightfully so. So you know I think moving forward. Um, you know, it's going to be hard to just key on one guy because right. we have so many guys back there that can, that can do special things, and um, you know, it'll it'll help out the other guys, you know, around them, but but you know, to make make everybody better. All right, turn our attention now to Round County, a team that's uh, struggled over the last few years, and I guess the first thing is, how's our mental approach? Uh, you know, because it's a team we're we're supposed to we're supposed to beat them. Well, you know. It, 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 that's true, but you know we try to keep the focus on us, and you know our message all week has been, you know, it's about us. This, you know, this week is about us. Focus mm -hmm. on us and trying to get better. We we have some really big games coming up, and um, so yeah. we're just trying to get better each day. You know, and that's that's kind of the message and mentality we have. You know, we can't take days off. You know, whether it's a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, mm -hmm. those guys got to come to practice and ready to work, and we got to continue to get better. You know, even if it's just little small increases, but. Um, at this time of the year, we can't afford to, you know, stay stay the same or, or slide backwards. So, you know, it's got to be it's got to be gradual improvements, and um, you know, we need to see those, and, and that's you know something else we need to see against Round County. Okay, they have won a couple of games this year. What do, what do you see in Round County? Uh, they, you know, they play hard. Um, you know, they line up. They don't make they don't make many mistakes uh, as far as alignment, and um, so you know, you, you tell their coach well, and um, you know, they they got a couple kids that can run. Fairly well. Um, they got a really good defensive end, uh, Richards. I think it's Richardson kid. Um, it's really, really good player, number 44. So um, they got, they got, they got some tools. You know, they got, they got some weapons. So you know, we'll have to go out and execute and, and, and block and tackle and um, you know, get up and down the field as fast as we can and uh, do the things that we do. But you know, they're 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 a work in progress, and uh, you know, they're going to come out and play hard, and, and we got to match their intensity. As opposed to last week when we played in the slop and all the mud, we're playing at Moorhead with the with the turf and stuff. So you you could, if need be, throw the football. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a, a nice luxury to have Friday night, being able to actually throw the ball because you know so much of what we do offensively is split down the middle. Um, you know, we we don't want to be just a, a rush only type of team and. Uh, especially with the weapons we have out wide. So, yeah. you know, we'd like to be pretty balanced, you know, 50-50, 60-40, and, um, you know, being able to throw the ball Friday night, the weather, you know, is going to look good. So, I, you know, being able to do that and, 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 and add that element to back into our game is going to be nice. But, um, you know, kids are excited. You know, it's more at state. It's a college field. Uh, you know, like I said last week, you know, last Friday, we, we feel our stadium is better, but mm. um, but it's still going to be it's still going to be nice to be on a college field and um, being able to play and, and you know you know maybe maybe get in front of the you know coaches at Moorhead. So mm -hmm. um, you know, so the kids are excited. They're excited for the opportunity, and, and we'll go down there and play hard. Okay, injury wise, how are we doing? Uh, doing pretty well. We got uh, just about everybody healed up. Um, you know, back for you know as, as as best you can this time of year. But sure. no significant injuries right now. But um, knock on wood. But um, you know, we'll we'll keep plugging away and, and hopefully keep our guys healthy. All right. Good luck. See you after the game. All right. Thanks, Dick. Coach Chad Tack of the Tomcats. Back in a moment on Cat Sports. 
Pet Center in Ashland, Kentucky has the pets. The Burt's Pet Center is renowned for having the largest selection of freshwater and saltwater fish and coral in the tri-state. Burt's Pet Center also has a huge selection of all things pet. People say it's like going to a zoo. Reptiles, birds, small animals, puppies, and kittens, not to mention ponds and water features, along with all the supplies to keep them happy and healthy. Stop in and check us out today or visit us on Facebook. Burt's Pet Center in Ashland, Kentucky. It's like visiting a local zoo, but you can bring these guys home with you. Primary Plus is invested in your health and invested in the health of our community. Primary Plus Ashland is happy to grow our team, welcoming family nurse practitioner Morgan Elkins, as well as Kelsey Lucas to our counseling services team. Primary Plus Grayson is excited to add dermatology with nurse practitioner Kelly Sparks. Primary Care Pediatrics, Women's Health, Infusion, Counseling, Pharmacy, and now Dermatology. Complete care for the entire family. Primary Plus has 14 locations, including Ashland, Grayson, South Shore, Vanceburg, and their newest location in Moorhead. See them online at primaryplus.net. This is Clay at Pollock's, where you will find the Tri-State's largest selection of diamonds. We are also your home for all of your Pandora stackable rings and your Alex and Ani needs. Locally owned and operated since 1874, Pollock's is the name that you know and trust. We provide professional service with a personal touch that has kept clients coming back year after year. Visit Pollock's at 913 Winchester Avenue in Ashland or on the web at pollockstoolers.com. Looking for a secure savings account? Come to Desco Federal Credit Union and explore our latest offers. With great rates and top-of-the-line personnel, Desco insures your money for at least $1 million. Relax and put your money where you know it's safe and growing. Desco Federal Credit Union is located at 1211 Carter Avenue and other locations in Ohio and West Virginia. Stop in or go online. An account at Desco is just what you need. DescoFCU.org. You're listening to Tom Cats Football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. What, like, Steve Cotton uses, Mark Martin. Everybody to Jane Stadium here at uh, Terry Jacobs Field on the campus of Moorhead State University as Ashland gets ready to take on Round County. The Tom Cats 5-1, and one. Round County stands at 2-3, and three, another district matchup for these clubs. Round County's first district matchup of the year for the Tom Cats, it's their second as they defeated Greenup last week handily, 51-12. to After falling behind 6 to nothing, the Cats scored 51 straight uh, to win that one. Boys soccer team right now stands at 4-8. and eight. The girls soccer team is at 4-7. and seven. The Ashland volleyball team uh, lost last night. They are now 21-2. and two. They fall to number 5 in the state of Kentucky. The uh, Tomcat JV football team is undefeated at 4-0. and oh. The freshmen at 3-1 and one on the season. Well, the Tomcats come in averaging 38 points a game compared to Round County 17. The Tomcats are rushing for 229, Round County for 119. Passing-wise, the Tomcats have thrown it for 131 yards on the average, Round County at 109. Total offense for the Cats, 360 for the Vikings, 228. Defensively, the Tomcats are really turning it on. They're giving up less than two touchdowns a a, uh, game now at 11.8. And over the last three games, they've only given up 20 points in the last three games, uh, even though, you know, they, a couple of teams have scored on our freshmen and JVs. But against varsity to varsity, they've only given up 20 uh, points. Round County, meanwhile, is giving up 22 points a game. The Tomcats very stingy defensively. Rushing-wise, only giving up 100 yards a game and less than 85 on the passing. Round County's given up 140 passing and 110 rushing. Uh, Turnover-wise, the Tomcats stand at a plus seven with three on the season. Their opponents have turned it over ten times. Jason Strader has completed 68% of his passes for 804 yards. Jennings, our leading rusher, at 458 for the year. Well-rounded backfield, a stable full of thoroughbreds for the Cats. Davis has 342 yards, Ashby at 309. So uh, you look at that and, you you know, you put them all together and obviously you're well over 1,000 yards rushing for one guy. But when you got a bunch of thoroughbreds in your stable, you kind of pass it around, give a guy a break or two and get him off the field so he'd be a little fresher toward the end of the season. And uh, that's exactly what Chad Tackett has chosen to do with Jennings, Davis, and Ashby. Receiving-wise, Sammy Lyons leads the Tomcats with uh, 16 catches. Uh, Davis has 16, Jennings has 16, Duckweiler with four, Wolf with a couple, and a good kicking game this year with uh, Troy Barnett. He's a 21 of 24 in the extra point department. 
for 87% and one of one in uh, field goal tries. His only field goal it was a 31-yarder. Uh, Round County, meanwhile, while well, they lost their quarterback several weeks ago, he is the uh, broke his leg. Probably will be back before the end of the season, but right now uh, he's out, and their new quarterback is a sophomore in Woodman, who is the son of the Moorhead State football coach, uh, Woodman, obviously. Their leading rusher is Hamilton with uh, 31 carries for 217 yards. Judge carried it 31 uh, times for 113 and uh, crossed 23 times for 109. So... They don't generate a lot of offense, and they give up a lot of points, so that's basically the way it's going to be. Not much of a crowd here tonight, and I think we're going to have the playing of our national anthem. And there we go. Our national anthem here at uh, Jane Stadium in Moorhead State University. Pre-recorded, I don't see any band here tonight. But we do have the Ashland cheerleaders. I've spotted them across the way. We have the Round County cheerleaders as well. It must be pink out here at uh, Moorhead State tonight for Round County because all their cheerleaders are dressed in pink. And a lot of their players have pink ran, uh, wristbands and uh, arm pads and shoes. And there's several fans in the field here that uh, in the stands at uh, – have pink on. Not much of a crowd, I can tell you that. Tomcat fans, maybe a couple of hundred. Uh, around County, mm, about the same. No, I don't think there's enough here to start a good fight, Bill. Hey, what do you think? You know, you're talking about the pink thing. Yeah, you know, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so that's why the pink. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're, they're really doing that. You know, I'm like you. You know, it's been about 35 years since I've been here for a football game. Yeah. Been a long time between the drinks and water for us. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, you know, there's a few more Ashland fans showing up, but, you know, it is it is a, a, a college stadium, and, a, you know, unfortunately you lose the intimacy of a high school stadium. Yep. Uh, certainly you lose the intimacy like at Putnam. Oh, yeah, and, when you're and, right on them. When you're right on them, and, uh, you know, and, and, and there's no track even between, and but you're, you're kind of a far away. You're way off the field here. But, you know, it, it, you mentioned, the, you know, relatively new turf so it's in good shape oh yeah beautiful and beautiful turf and uh, you know credit to uh, the folks here at MSU that you know the, they, they deal with things that they don't have the money that a lot of schools have but, but right they, but they they find a way and uh, Kelly Wells is doing a great job as the AD here and uh, it's nice to have this facility but I know the Rowan County folks are really excited about their new place our, our yeah. buddy Randy Stacy who does the radio for uh, Round County was showing me some photos of the stadium, and uh, uh, they, they think that their next game, they will be ready to put it into use. Well, that's very good. It is a beautiful field. On uh, It's uh, the turf field, just like Ashland has, and the University of Kentucky. One end zone says Eagles. The other says Eagles. And uh, then the big uh, logo in the middle is Beaker. Beaker. Their mascot. Yep. No MSU anywhere, but I guess... Everybody knows you're at Moorhead State, I guess. But they got a big beaker in the middle. I know something coming out. You know, the Tomcats have like 11, 12 coaches. And I think that's why Ashland's football program is above many others around our area. They got 11 or 12 coaches, and I see Round County's coaching staff. They got one head coach and five assistants. Yeah. Well, and that's, you know, it, to have a program 
you got to have you got to put the money into it. That, you got you got to do that exactly, and, Dickie. And, and, and some a, schools just don't just don't have the it's money. It's a financial commitment, and Ashland certainly has shown. And I mean, and it goes all the way to the Ashland Board of Education, right? Uh, willing to spend the money and uh, and make sure that these kids have the best coaching staff, the best. Uh, Facilities that the, the, the what the what the city the city school system would provide, and it's a blessing that that the Tomcats have, and and then certainly uh, when you see a, a large coaching staff and specialties being covered, it's great. Yeah, it is. Meaning the captains at midfield, the ca- uh, referee tonight is not Mike, so I can't help you there. Hi, Coach Downey. And there's a. Uh, one of our next studs, eighth grader Stutler, this year. quarterbacker. Quarterback. Whew, he is something else. All right, for the Tomcats tonight, uh, our captains are Jackson Billups, cash compliment. And who else is out there? Maybe uh, Owens, uh, Owen Morris, and I can't pick up the other one. Uh, I'm not sure who it is. Anyway, Carl McGlone is our referee. That's all I know. Uh, I don't know the other four. Not familiar with them, but Carl we had several weeks ago, and I think we played Bardstown maybe or something at, at the stadium. Billy, uh, Nikki Malachi Ward's the other uh, captain Is it out Malachi there. Ward? Malachi okay. Ward. All right, there was a flip of the coin, and I wasn't paying attention again like I was last week. Uh, <laughs> but we'll find out who won the flip of the coin. Well, the Tomcats like Tom have deferred to the second half, so... Round County, we get to uh, football as we get started. Uh, Dr. Stottlemyre already keeping us up on scores tonight. Rock Hill leads Gallia Academy, 7 0. Thank you, Doc. And Bill Sabrinzi sent me something. Oh, we have a new Tomcat. We have another new Tomcat. Erica Renzi, who is the mother of Braxton Jennings, had her baby yesterday. His name is Tatum. He weighed 6 pounds, 6 ounces. He was about three weeks premature, but mom and baby are doing very well. Thank you, Bill Renzi, for all that. And uh, So we've got, uh, of course, Ryan Bonner's new baby girl, uh, Elizabeth Ryan. And, we'll, by the way, we'll be talking to Coach Bonner at halftime. And now we've got uh, another Braxton Jennings on the way. So we got babies popping up all oh, over the place and Tomcat we, Nation. We need those Tomcats. We need them. <laughs> all right, we'll come back with a kickoff in just a moment. It's Ashland and Round County here at Moorage State on Cat Sports. For nearly 30 years, Tim Renfro has dedicated his life to serving the community of Ashland. As a veteran of the Ashland Police Department and a proud graduate of Ashland Paul Blazer High School, Tim Renfro is ready to take his commitment to the next level as your next Ashland City Commissioner. Tim Renfro is eager to continue moving Ashland forward. I'm Tim Renfro. I'm running for Ashland City Commission to keep our community strong. Together, we can build a brighter future. I appreciate your support. Paid for by the candidate. Tired of seeing those dings, dents, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 44 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, from minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says, Go Tomcats! Giovanni's has great Italian dishes. Spaghetti with meat sauce, lasagna, ravioli, manicotti, and baked lasagna. Giovanni's has the best sandwiches around from the Stromboli, Italian Sub, Calzones, and their signature Big Red. All dinners will be served with hot garlic bread or Italian rolls. Giovanni's Pizza, fresh, hot, and tasty. Have it delivered right to your door. Giovanni's. The Italian place to be. Come on down to the Jubilee Bingo Hall. Thursday and Friday nights, doors open at 4. Games start at 6.30 with a $5,000 nightly payout. Game 18 is worth $1,100. Friendly workers, padded chairs, 10 miles west of Ashland on Route 60. Take exit 180 off I-64. Go left one mile next to Manning Furniture. Phone 606-928-4646. Owned and operated by People Helping People Incorporated. License number 102. Oh, 
Welcome back, everybody. We're ready to play a little football. Kicking off for the Tomcats are in white jerseys tonight with maroon pants, white headgears. I love that combination of white and maroon. Back deep for Round County to receive the opening kickoff in single safety is number 10. Cameron. 10, is it? Okay, Cameron, Cameron Cross. Cross. Okay, here we go. Catch going right to left on your dial, and we're ready to play a little football. Round County doesn't have a lot of players. Ashland got a lot of players. And I mean, they got players. They may have about 28, 30 players, Dickie. That's about I it. would say you're about right. I'd go with 30, 35, maybe. They just don't have a whole lot. Okay. We're awaiting the clock to get reset. It's set. And it's set. And Mr. McGlone, the referee, is standing in the end zone. Gives him the whistle and the go-ahead, and Mr. Barnett will approach the football, and we're underway. It's not very high, but it's kind of deep. Cameron Cross at his 12, straight up across the 15-20. The Tomcats have him down, and now he escapes at the 30 and gets right up to the 30-yard line. Mason Wolf had him down about the 25, but he scooted out of that would-be tackler, and Brown County's got pretty good field position. The Vikings will start first and 10 up near the 29-30 yard line. Play just underway here at Moorhead State University for the Tomcats and uh, the Round County Vikings. Dr. Stottlemyre keeping us up on scores tonight. Two I really want to keep uh, uh, track of, Doc. Greenup and Boyd and Ironton and Pikeville. Make sure you get those for me. All right, the quarterback is Woodman. They come out in the pistol formation. They got a guy behind Woodman, and Woodman's going to look to throw the old... Uh, Looking, looking, looking. Now he's going to run the football. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and a flag thrown back at the 22-yard line. Looks like maybe holding against Round County. They tried to run the flea flicker. And that and didn't work. Well, there was too much pressure. Too by much Ashley. pressure. For, too much speed for the Tomcats up yeah. front. McCoy was up there. Ray, Ray, uh, Ray Day, Rucker, and Corliss. Uh, just, just can't. Too much speed for the Tomcats. They can make it second and ten if you decline the penalty, or you can take the penalty and make it uh, first in about God knows how long because the penalty was at the 22. Carl McClone says holding against Round County is going to be, yep, they're going to mark it off back to the 20-yard line. So Round County will get first and 20 now at their own 20-yard line. Again, Woodman, the quarterback, Hamilton, Thomas, and Judd are in the backfield in the shotgun. Wideouts are Smith and Richardson to the near side. Tomcats in a five-man front. J.J. Keyes, a freshman on the defensive end. Give it around the right side. That's Hamilton. Got good yardage across the 25-30. Up near the 31-32 yard line. Nice run by Hamilton of Round County. Gets back the uh, 10 they lost on the penalty and a couple of more. So a gain of about 12. Second down and eight for Round County at their own 32-yard line. That was a well-run play by yep. the Vikings. They, they pulled guards from over on the left side, got them out there. And it was basically just too many bodies for Rowan, for Ashland to compete with right at the line of scrimmage. Yep. Just student body right and student body left yep. is basically what that was. Here we go. In the shotgun is Woodman. Flanked on his left is Hamilton. Two wide outs to the right side. They're going to come back to this short side. Again, it's Hamilton. He cuts up field across the 35, and they run him out of bounds at about the 35-36 yard line, short of the first down. We'll bring up third down for Round County. But short, manageable. Third down, about four. Braxton Jennings gave him a nice how do you do there at the sideline <laughs> at the end of that play. Spark it at the 36 at the near hash mark. Third and four for Round County. Again, Rodman, the quarter, or Woodman, the quarterback. Two wide outs on the near side, and Smith and Cross. Hamilton's in the backfield. Woodman awaits the snap. It's a good one. They go to the reverse. That's Cross. He's going to head to the far sideline. They've got him. And down he goes back in the backfield at the 34. Great pursuit from Duckweiler. J.J. Keys for the Tomcats. And who else but Ryday Rucker. And Cross will probably lose a yard back to the 35. And that will bring up fourth down and five for Round County in a punting situation. So the Vikings will go three and out. Yeah, Coach Kelly Ford not doing any gambling here. You know, they they, they no, did too have early. Some, had a couple of nice productive plays, but uh, went nowhere on that reverse. Sparks will be your punter. Cam Davis in single safety, standing back at his 30-yard line. Good snap, tad bit high. Here comes a rush. He gets off a high dandy. Davis will field it at his own 26. Fumbles the football, picks it up. Here he goes across the 30, 35, heads to the far sideline, and they'll wrestle him down. Cam got going before he had the football, basically, is what happened there. 39-yard punt. 
Nice punt by Sparks. Tomcats will start first and 10 with pretty good field position. They'll start up near the 35-yard line. No score in this one. We're at uh, 10 and a half minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Tomcats with the football for the first time. Marushi will be up front. He's got Phillips up there with compliment. Owen Morris. And um, I didn't pick up the other one because here we go. Cam Davis to the near side in the backfield. Strader in the shotgun on his left is Ashby. Two wide outs to the right, Lions and Wolf. Strader in the shotgun looking to throw. He comes to Jennings. Jennings going to bring it up. Get short yardage up near the 37-38 yard line on the first pass play of the night. Jennings caught, catches his 18th ball of the year, picks up about three. It'll be second and seven for the Cats. Something Ashby wasn't able to do last year was throw that bubble pass. Davis to the near side with Jennings. Ashby in the uh, shotgun with Strader. It's Wolf and Lions up on top. Jennings goes in motion to the far sideline. Strader's going to throw it over there. Duckweiler's got it. He's across the 40, 45, breaking tackles up near the 50. And he'll get the first down down near the round county. 49-yard line as Strader hits Duckweiler for a nice uh, pickup on the play of about 14. First and 10 for the Cats as they earn their first first down of the night. As they cross the 50 down to the round county 49-yard line. Jennings and Lions and Duckweiler trip wide outs to the left, the wide side of the field. Wolf is up on top, Strader in the shotgun with Ashby back there with him. Strader awaits the snap. It's a good one. He's going to throw it again. Now he's under pressure. Here they come, and they got him back at the 43-yard line. They were coming with everybody and, then. They sent about seven or eight players, and, and that, Strader eats it and loses about six on the play. And that was that stud player they got, Will Richardson. Richardson. Yeah. He's, he's a nice defensive end. Tomcats now sitting behind the chains. It'll be second down, about 17 for the Cats at their own 44. Davis and Duckweiler to the near side. In the backfield, they're in the H-back formation, and the give is to Jennings. He's going to bump it outside. He's across the... 45 up near the 47 48 yard line. Doesn't get back to the original line of scrimmage. We'll bring up third and long for the Cats as they have it at their own 49 yard line, third and about 12 on a pickup of about five. Tomcats face with their first third down try of the night. Wolf will go up on top with Davis to the near side, Duckweiler and Lions. In the backfield, you've got Strader. Flanked on his left is Braxton Jennings. Third and long. Strader looks to throw. He's looking. He's looking. He's got time. He's got his man, Lions. He's headed for the end zone. He's at the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Tomcats. Wide open. Sam Lyons coming across the middle. And the Cats get the first score of the game, and it comes with uh, 8.41 left to go here in the first quarter. Strader hits Lions for a bomb and uh, a lot of yards after catch. As they go 51 yards for the score, and Lyons for the Tomcats gets his fifth touchdown of reception of the year. Barnett, who has only missed three this year, he's 21 of 24, will try it. Conway will hold it. Thompson will snap it for the Cats on their first series. The Cats are up already 6 nothing. Conway awaits a snap. A little bit low, or, 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 or I'm sorry, Barnett splits the uprights. And with 8.41 left to go here in the first, it's Ashland 7, Round County 0. We'll be back in just a moment here on Cat Sports 93.3 in 1340. Hey, Tomcat fans, it's football season once again, and that means deer season is right around the corner. Let Ashland Milling Company help you get that trophy buck. Ashland Milling Company has all the great products for your deer season. 50-pound bags of corn for $10.50. 20-pound trophy rocks for $19.95. Lucky Buck Deer Mineral for $19.95. And don't forget about your food plot mix. Ashland Milling Company would like to wish the Tomcats a very very successful football season this year. Go Tomcats from Ashland Milling Company. McMeetings Pharmacy, where you're a name, not a number. They provide personalized care from their locally owned, trustworthy team. McMeetings Pharmacy cares about you and your loved one's health and well-being. McMeetings Pharmacy proudly supports the Ashland Tomcats. They're here to serve Ashland and their surrounding communities with fast, friendly service at both locations, 2920 Carter Avenue, Ashland, and 708 4th Street, South Point, Ohio. Now, back to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 at 1340. 
Tom catch March 65 yards in just five plays. Take less than two minutes. The bomb from Strader to Lions. Barnett, 7 nothing. 8.40 to go here in the first. Barnett kicks it not very deep again. Headed to the far sideline comes Thomas. He'll bring it across the 25-30, and Kelly will run him out of bounds across the 30 up near the 31-32. Barnett's not really getting into him quite yet. Hopefully that'll change. Brown's got pretty good field position. They'll start first and 10 at their own 30, yeah, about 32-yard line as they trail it here early, 7-0. Tomcats score on their very first possession. Woodman will be your quarterback. Owen will be a wide out to the left side along with Cross. Hamilton's in the backfield along with Thomas, slot right. Richardson is your tight end on the right side. Woodman awaits a snap. First and 10, he's 32. Looks to throw it over in the flat. Cats are all over him. He catches a football. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Falls forward for about a yard. And Owen makes the catch over there. Maybe gained a yard. Up near the 33. We'll call it second and nine for Round County at their own 33-yard line. 8-14. The clock running here in the first. It's 7-0 Ashland. Football to far hash mark. Cross comes to the near side. Woodman in the shotgun formation. Scott Smith in the slot on the right side. Woodman looks things over. Looks to the sideline again to try and get the play call. Looks again to the sideline. I don't see a play clock. They, they're not there, using the play clock. No here. play clock? Okay. They better hurry because it's getting close. Woodman's just going to stand at the line of scrimmage. Were they waiting on a delay game or something? What's going on? Now they go down. And second and nine at their 33. They give it off the right side. Here comes Hamilton around the right. Student body right and left. He gains it up near the 34-35 yard line. Not a lot of running there. And it will be third down for round. They're all of one and third down conversions tonight. And they have a third down as they spot the 35 and about seven. On a gain of one. Football to near hash mark. Third and seven for Round County at their own 35-yard line. Wide left goes Judd along with Owen. Thomas is your slot man on the right. Hamilton in the backfield with Woodman in the shotgun formation. Again, they're just taking a lot of time off the clock. They're not in any hurry. I don't I don't understand the strategy. Shorten the game, I guess. I don't really know. As they look to the sideline, does Woodman and the rest of the players. They got their play, and now they're ready to go. Takes a snap. Woodman to throw in the pocket under pressure. Let's her fly. Nearly picked off by the Tomcats back there. Looks like Duckweiler got a hand on it. It's incomplete. It'll be fourth down for Round County, so they'll go three and out again. I think I know their philosophy. They want to shorten this game. Uh, yes, but a nice start Can't for blame the them. Tomcats defensively. Of course, the first series, I guess we could call it a four and out since there were some penalties. Yeah. But a four and out and a three and out. So good start defensively for the Tomcats. Back deep to receive the punt is Mr. Cam Davis from Sparks. Standing about his 30-yard line, fourth and seven at their 35. Tomcats coming hard, and they won't get it. Another nice boot. Davis going to let this one hit at the 30. It's going to go sideways, go inside the 25, and roll dead about the 22-yard line. 28, 38. That's a 43-yarder uh, there. That's a nice one. Yeah. Nice little roll, though. About a third of that yard on the, is on the roll. So the Tomcats are a little bit backed up, but not too bad. They'll start first and 10th or 22, leading a 7-0. 623 left to go in the first quarter. Round County trying to shorten the game. They stay in the huddle a long time. Pikeville leads Ironton 7-zip. Rock Hill leads Gallia Academy 13-0. South Point 12, Chesapeake 8. Three wide outs to the left. Davis, Duckweiler, and Wolf. In the backfield is Jennings with Strader on first and 10, and Strader's going to keep it himself. Now looks upfield, wide open across the middle, across the 30-35 yard line is Mason Wolf. That'll pick up a first down, take it from the 22, spot it up to the 35, a gain of 13, and Ashland's third first down of the night. Strader's already thrown for 81 yards, first and 10 for the Cats at their 35. 
Davis and Jennings go wide right. Duckweiler and Lyons to the left. It's Ashby in the backfield now with Strader in the shotgun. Strader looks to throw again. We're making up for not throwing last week. He's going for all of it, and he overthrows Jennings at about the 25 incomplete. Jennings had his man beat. Strader just led him a little bit too much. Jennings, he need to pick it up a little bit with the speed there and catch up to that one. Johnson Central 7, Corbin 7. Thanks, Doc, for and, those scores. And I've got a uh, score from the battle for the shield. Huntington shutting out Cabell Midland 21 to nothing in the second quarter. And mm, you and I both are not surprised by that. No, one. Highlanders are very good really football good. team. Wide outs to each way. Strader on second and 10. They're 35. Going to give it to Jennings. He'll go off the right side across the 40. Cuts back to the 45-46 and the Tomcat first now. We haven't rushed the ball. That's only our third yeah. rushing play of the night. Gained 11. That was a nice little bit of broken field running by Jennings there. He just kind of picked yep. his way, finding open spots, and gets the first down. What you got to do. West Carter leads Russell 3 nothing. Davis goes wide to the far side. Davis and Duck or, uh, Lions and Duckweiler to the left. In the backfield, Jennings and Ashby. They flank uh, straighter on each hip. Here's a give to Ashby. He's going to turn the corner and up the short side across the 40, 45, 50, and down to the 44 of Round County. And very close to another Tomcat first down. As he lunged, they'll spot it probably back at about the 45, about a yard short. And it'll be second and one for the Cats now at the Round County 45. Clock rolling at 445 of the first, 7 nothing Ashland, and trying to add to it. Two wideouts up on top and one to the left. The short side is Davis. Strader looks to the sideline, gets the audible. Ashby is on his left hip. Tomcats have thrown it five times and rushed it four. Strader will take it. He's going to throw it. Got him to man. That's Davis inside the 40. Makes a juke move at the 40, and that takes it to the left, to the right, and down to about the 34-yard line goes Cam Davis. His first catch of the night. And the Tomcats have their fifth first down of the night. Strader already approaching 100 yards passing. Jennings, Davis, Duckweiler up on top the wide side. Connor Messer tight on the left. Strader in the shotgun with Ashby on his right side. Strader takes it. Going to throw it over in the flat. Duckweiler bobbles it, picks it up, and he'll go down. He got tackled in the backfield back at the 40-yard line. A loss on the play. He bobbled it. He's yeah. trying to run before he had it. Plus, that was pretty well read by the, yes, it was. By the Mountain defense. Give you credit. They, yep. they had bodies back there to make a play. Loss of four on the play. Second and 14 for the Tomcats now to round County 38. Clock at three and a half minutes of the first quarter. Duckweiler and Lyons come to the left. Davis goes to the right. Wolf will come in for Duckweiler, and he'll come to the near side. Strader in the backfield. He's got Jennings in the slot right. And Ashby is your running back. Here's Strader to throw, looking across the middle. Got his man. There's Lyons inside the 30 of the 25. Going to be short of the first down by about a yard. Another nice catch by Sam Lyons. Same pass play they ran last week. Worked all last week, working again tonight. Just a little, almost like a slant across the middle. Gain of 13 for the Cats. Brings up third and one. We're in four down territory, though. At the round county, they pass it out in the flat. That's Davis has got it inside the 15, down to the 11, maybe 12-yard line. And a late flag comes in. Might be a horse collar against round county. Yeah, Memphis Hinton was the defender there for Rowan, and he just had him a big old uh, mm -hmm. bunch of shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Jersey. Another Tomcat first down there, sixth. That'll be half the distance to the goal on the personal foul. So I guess they call that a horse collar. That'll take it down inside the 10-yard line to about, should be about the five, and that's where it'll be first and goal for the Cats. First and goal for the Cats, straighter in the shotgun, and the Tomcats are, I think, a player short. I don't know. But somebody called a timeout. Never did see. 2.30 left to go in the first quarter. Ashland leads it 7 nothing, and they have it into the red zone where it's uh, first.
first and goal from about the five. Tomcat football brought to you in part by UK King's Daughters Medical Center. Excellent care for your family. Members Choice Credit Union committed to our community. Premier Physical and Occupational Therapy. We get results. And Sloan Realtor at ParamountPropertiesKentucky.com and Van Art Properties. People's Bank working together building success. Brace Yourself Orthodontics. We offer traditional braces and Invisalign. Ashland Credit Union, earn money for the Ashland Schools with the ACU Tomcat Visa credit card. Ashland Credit Union goes big for the cats in their brand new location. And Dr. Matthew Lewis and Lewis Family Care, for all your family's medical needs, we're here for you. Jennings in the backfield with Strader. They never yes. did signal who Who's took that time out. Uh, I, I we did. don't know. I think it was Ashland. I think you were. I'm going to put it down for Ashland. Wide left, Davis. Wide right. Lion straighter in the shotgun, gives to Jennings, straight up the gut, goes into the uh, end zone untouched. Nobody touched him. And another Tomcat first down, uh, touchdown. It comes with uh, 2.27 to go here in the first quarter. Tomcat's out to a 13 to nothing lead. Jennings gets his first touchdown of the night. And Barnett will go in to try the extra point. Caleb Conway will hold it. Thompson will snap it for the Cats, who now lead it 13-0 here in the early going. Await the snap. It's a good one on its way. It's right down Broadway. With 2.27 left to go here in the first quarter, it's Ashland 14, Round County 0. We'll be back in just a moment here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Clark's Pumping Shop is proud to serve the tri-state area with well-lit, clean, fully stocked stores where you'll find exceptional customer service. Clark's Pumping Shop offers excellent prices on everyday items and great monthly specials on items that you love. Download their app from the App Store for even more great value. Clark's Pumping Shop, a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. They ensure that you'll have a wonderful experience that will make you want to return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pumping Shop. Invest in yourself and your future at KFB The Better Bank. From our FDIC-insured student savings account to our wealth management department, KFB has a service for every walk of life. At KFB, we are dedicated to giving you the best service in the tri-state. Visit us at www.kfb.bank to find out how we can help you invest in yourself and your future. KFB The Better Bank, located in Ashland, Summit, Callisburg, Louisa, and Wheelersburg. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. This is Tom Cats football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Barnett with a line drive kick. It's going to hit the 15 down to the 10, and nobody's going to pick it up. Now they finally do. Brings it across the 15 up near the 16, 17 comes cross. Maybe the 18, and that's round county now backed up. Tom Cats goes 78 yards in nine plays. Take nearly four minutes off the clock. Jennings with a score. Barnett with the extra point. 14 zip Tom Cats. Raceland leads Hazard 7-0. And we'll try and get you a Boyd and Green of score here shortly. First and 10 for Round County. They're trying to shorten this game. In other words, they're staying in the huddle as long as that clock will allow it. And there's no play clock here or they're not using it. So we don't know if they're good, bad, or otherwise. Woodman will be the quarterback. Hamilton will be his running back on his right side. Three wideouts up on top. Tomcats in a five-man front. Round County just standing at the line of scrimmage. Woodman now takes the snap. He looks across the middle. Got his man. Good catch across the 25 up near the 27-yard line. Catch made by Judd. And very close to a Round County first down. They're going to mark it right at the 28-yard line. Call it first down. That Round is. County's first first down of the night. Yep. Took them about 10 minutes to get it. That's all right. First and 10 round at their own 28-yard line. Woodman in the shotgun. Again, he's got one wide out to the right. Hamilton on his left in the backfield to run the football. And the H-back is Judd. Richardson is your tight end on the left. Again, they take a lot of time, a lot of scrimmage. Woodman awaits the snap, takes it, gives it to Hamilton. Here they come. Across the 30, he breaks a tackle. Nice move by Hamilton up near the 35-36 yard line. Comes Hamilton. Short of the first down, but picks up nice substantial yardage, about eight. It'll be second and two for round now, up near their 36 yard line. Nearing a minute to go in the first quarter, Ashland leads it 14-0. 
Woodman again has Judd in the backfield, the H-back formation. Hamilton is on his left hip, and the wide out to the near side is Cross, I believe. Again, Ashland in a five-man front. They're not cheating anybody up. Woodman awaits a snap. Again, a lot of time. Here's a quick snap. They throw it to Hamilton, and Hamilton got maybe a yard up near the 37-yard line. They short-snapped it to Hamilton rather than Woodman. And a gain of one. It'll be third down for Round County. They'll bring it up near the 38-yard line. Are they going to give him a first down? Nope, yep, yep. Official said first down. Ooh, now, I don't think. I think that no, was a bad call. That's, well, they, they moved the chains they back. Moved, oh, they did move the chains back? See, they moved them back. And now the official says first down. <laughs> that's just a bad call. Come on, guys. Make your mind up. That's that's just a bad call. That's all I can tell you. First and ten round county at their own 38-yard line. They want to get out of here as quick as we do, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> all right, here we go. Woodman again in the shotgun. Hamilton is the up back in the shotgun. He's going to give it to Hamilton, and Hamilton will get uh, maybe back to the line of scrimmage. That'll be the last play of the first quarter as they'll put him right at the first quarter for, uh, for at the original line of scrimmage for no gain. At the end of one period of play, it's Ashland 14, Round County 0. We'll get back with the second 12 in just a few minutes here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby has been providing accounting, tax, and attest services for the tri state community and across the United States. Since 1951, individuals, medical practices, attorneys, corporations, Main Street businesses, local schools, and governments have relied on us for expert advice, tax preparation, and attest services. With offices in Ashland and Cincinnati, Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby are here for your accounting and tax needs. For over 70 years, Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby has been there for businesses in our community. They're here for yours, too. Call them and let Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby provide for the future of your business. As the Ashland Tomcats take the field, let's also talk about the future of our city. Hi, I am DJ Reimer, a proud Ashland Tomcat alumni and candidate to serve you on the Ashland City Commission. Just like our Tomcats, I believe in teamwork, dedication, and making our community stronger. Together, we can tackle the challenges Ashland faces and create opportunities for all of our residents. Join me in supporting our Tomcats tonight and our community. Let's work together to keep Ashland moving forward. Go Tomcats. And on November 5th, vote DJ Reimer. Paid for by David J. DJ Reimer for Ashland City Commission. You're listening to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Second and 10 for Round County at their own 38-yard line as we start the second 12. Ashland leading at 14-0. Special hellos go out tonight to Earl Henry. Always listening. Here's a guy that not only listened to me, but he was able to listen to my father. Oh, my. And there's not many of those left that were able to listen to my dad <laughs> and me. Earl is a... He's a saint, I'll tell you that. I must be old because I do remember listening to your dad. Hey, there you go. We are old. All right, here's Woodman to throw. Throws it out in the flat. Got his man. That's Owen. Breaks a couple of tackles. Gets it up near the 39-40, maybe the 41-yard line. Not a lot of running room there for him. Also, our one of our loyal listeners, Mary Lee, listening tonight. He picks up a couple. It'll be third down and eight for Round County. They're 0 of 2 in third down conversions tonight. Just across the 40, up near the 41. Woodman, the quarterback. He's going to send Judd out to the right side along with Owen. Richardson, you're tied in on the left. Thomas is your slot man on the right. So basically three wideouts up on top the right side. Hamilton in the backfield as Woodman just stands and waits. And now he'll take the snap. Here comes the pressure from Ashby and Duckweiler. And Duckweiler's got him back at the 30 along with... Uh, the Tomcats number 52. That's not Corliss. That is Trent Robinson. Yeah, Trent Robinson. Good nice job. smack there. Got him way back. They'll spot the football at the 32-yard line, I guess. And it'll be fourth down and extra long. It's after a couple of first downs. Back up, back up time for the Vikings. Fourth and 16 for the Vikings now at their own 32. Cam Davis back in single safety at his 32. Awaits the punt from Sparks, who's had a great night punting so far. Gets it high, not very deep. Davis got hit as he tried oh, to field the ball. No flag on the play. Why didn't they throw a flag? You got me on that one. That was pure they hit him. interference. 
That's interference, Mr. Referee. 29-yard punt. God, that's a terrible call again. That's just terrible. I mean, it's almost like they're looking at each other. Weren't you going to throw a flag? No, weren't you no, going to throw a flag? The flag? Uh, no. And nobody threw a flag. God, Cam Davis got he got uh, hit pretty good. I would love to hear an explanation on, on that, that one. one. Yeah. Gee whiz. I wish we could mic. We can mic us. Of course, we're mic'd and ask the official, what in the hell are you thinking there, big boy? <laughs> First and ten, Tomcats have it. they got good field position at their 37, leading 14 nothing. Strader will bring him out in the backfield. Jennings and Davis to the near side comes Wolf. Up on top, Duckweiler and Lyons. So he's flanked by Davis on the right and Jennings on the left. As Strader will put Jennings now in motion to the far sideline. He's going to throw it over there to him, and here he goes across the 40, 45, 50. He's going to outrun him to the end zone. He's gone down the sideline. Touchdown, Tomcats. Strader to Jennings on a little uh, pass out in the flat, and down the sideline he went for the Tomcats score. 12 seconds. That's all it took. That's all it took. First play of the second quarter for the Tomcats, and they score with 10-12 left to go here in the first half. Jennings gets his second touchdown of the night. How far did that one go? About 60, 63. 63-yard 63 pass from Strader. And Barnett is in to try the extra point with Conway holding. It's almost a run, but the, it did go forward. I thought it went Not forward. Backward. I don't think it was a lateral. Good no. snap. Barnett will split the uprights. With 10-12 left to go here in the first half, it's Ashland 21 and Round County nary a point. They got zero. We'll be back in a moment here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics in Ashland is different. Bluegrass Wound Care is not just a wound care center, it's a wound healing center. The experts at Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics provide compassionate and advanced care. Their skilled team, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, is here for you. Make your appointment today and enjoy convenient parking within 25 feet of the door. Call 606-325-6493 or visit BluegrassWoundCare.com. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics, we are wound care in Kentucky. For nearly 30 years, Tim Renfro has dedicated his life to serving the community of Ashland. As a veteran of the Ashland Police Department and a proud graduate of Ashland Paul Blazer High School, Tim Renfro is ready to take his commitment to the next level as your next Ashland City Commissioner. Tim Renfro is eager to continue moving Ashland forward. I'm Tim Renfro. I'm running for Ashland City Commission to keep our community strong. Together, we can build a brighter future. I appreciate your support. Paid for by the candidate. Now, back to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 at 13.40. Tomcats go 63 yards in just one play, and in 12 seconds, Strader hits Jennings for the bomb of 63 yards. They're not going to catch that cat. Down the sideline he went, and it's 21 nothing with Barnett's extra point. Strader's passed for nearly 200 yards now. Here's Barnett high, not so deep. Thomas goes back and fields it at his 11 across the 20. Heads to the far sideline, and he got smacked down over there on the far sideline by Ryday Rocker at about the 23-24. Round County will start first and 10, but now trailing 21 nothing with about 10 minutes to go in the half. Ashland scored every time they've touched the football, and we probably expected that. Woodman is your quarterback. He's got Owen and uh, Judd to the right side. Hamilton comes to the near side. Now he goes back into the backfield, and Thomas will come to the near side. He's in the slot, and Hamilton will be on the right hip of Woodman. First and 10 round at their own 25-yard line, trailing it 21-0. Woodman awaits a snap. It's a good one. He's going to go to the reverse to Thomas. Thomas looking to throw it, throws it way downfield. That one's up for grabs and nearly caught. And now we got a late flag coming in at the 35. That'll be pass interference against Sammy Lyons. First penalty of the night against the Tomcats. Had Sam turned around and looked at it, it wouldn't have been a uh, penalty, but he didn't. So that'll be a 15-yard penalty that from the line of scrimmage will give Round County their third first down of the night. Yeah, you, you make a good point there about, you know, if you, if you had – uh, you can track the ball, might have a different result, but a lot of times D-backs 
if they don't have sight of the ball, they kind of panic. And that's when they start making mistakes. Uh, sometimes they say they get a little handsy. Yeah, handsy. <laughs> Round will have it first and ten now as they take the football up to the 40. In the backfield, Woodman in the shotgun. Hamilton on his left. Here's Woodman going to keep the ball, and the Cats have got him in the backfield back at the 37-yard line. Luke McCoy in there for the Tomcats. Luke just a freshman. He's going to be something. A loss of three. It'll be second and 13 for round at their own 37. Whiteouts on the near side. Owen and Judd. Hamilton in the backfield with Woodman. Thomas is your slot man on the right side, the wide side of the field. Second and long, playing behind the chains again. They're going to throw it out in the flat. No, he's not. He's going to tuck it and run. And he fumbles it, and the Tomcats have it at the 42. Off the bottom of the pile for the Cats comes. And da -da 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 -da. might have been Adam Frame. It is Mr. Frame. Frame recovers the fumble. He got his first interception last week. Gets his second fumble recovery tonight. And the Cats leading 21 nothing will take over the short field. We've got 9-10 uh, to go in the first half. And it's first and 10, Ashland at the Round County 42, already leading 21 nothing. Pikeville leads Ironton 14-7. Chesapeake 21, South Point 12. Johnson Central and Corbin are tied at 14. Greenup County 6, Boyd County 3. That's a battle. Wide to the near side comes Lions. Davis goes to the left side. Duckweiler also wide right. Straighter in the shotgun. Nope, that's not straighter. They're going to go with a uh, wildcat formation. They're going to snap it to Jennings, who will give it to Ashby, I think, and got a couple of yards down near the 40. So the Tomcats giving straighter a little bit of a break as Jennings will take the snap. Well, okay, that's fine. Gain of a couple, second and eight. It's amazing the versatility of the Tomcats offense. Yes. When, when you can have Jennings run this, and you can, or you can have Cam Davis run it. Yeah, exactly. Of course, we saw Cam running that last year when uh, Strader was down injured. Jennings will be your quarterback in the Cat uh, formation. Going to give it to Ashby again. He got hit in the line of scrimmage. The blocking just totally collapsed, and he gets pushed back to the 45. It was second and eight. Now to be second down and or third down and about twelve. Ashland two of two and third down conversions tonight. Clock is at eight ten left to go here in the uh, first half. Ashland leading it twenty one nothing. They took over at the round forty three. It's now at the forty four as the Cats are playing behind the chains. Wide left goes Davis and Wolf to the near side. Duckweiler and Lions. Jennings is your new quarterback with Ashby. On his right hip, Marushi will snap it back. Here's Jennings. He's going to throw it. He's thrown it once this year. Got his man across the middle, and he picked it off the carpet, and they're going to call it complete down to the 38. It'll be fourth down, not enough for the first down. Lions made the catch. Pass was just a tad bit underthrown. Yeah, Jennings could not uh, keep it from falling a little close to ground and did it about as well as they could trying to yep. make a catch. But I, it is, this is four down territory. Oh, yeah. No question. Fourth and six for the Cats down. About the 38-yard uh, line of Brown County. Again, Jennings now an empty backfield. Three wide outs to the right and one to the left. Jennings in an empty backfield. He's going to run it himself. He's going to turn the corner on the right side, and he ain't going to get a thing. They got him back at the 40-yard line. And the Tomcats on their fourth series of the night will give it up on downs. First time the Tomcats have been stopped yeah. tonight by Rowan County. Loss of a couple. And the Rowan County defense does the trick. I guess that kind of goes to show you got to have straighter at the quarterback, huh? <laughs> First and 10 round, they got good for be a field position. They'll start their own 41. And this is an official timeout on the field now with 7.03 left to go in the first half. It's Ashland 21, Rowan County 0. We'll return in just a moment here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. 
Mark Porter Chevrolet Buick GMC in Ashland, Kentucky is celebrating fall savings with great GM deals. New 24 Buick and Vista starting at $24,995 or 24 Chevy Track starting at $21,995. To kick off the fall, Car Ferry says it's time to kick some beep. Just like Ole Miss found out, you do not mess with Blue Bloods. 24 Chevy Heavy Duty Pickup saved up to $9,000 off. 24 Chevy 1500 Silverado saved up to $12,000 off. 2,250 trade assists must trade a 2010 or newer. Save up to $14,000 off GMC Sierra 1500 Pickups in stock. The all new redesigned Buick Envision and Enclaves. We have them. Must see today. Shop 24 hours at markportergm.com. We are the fastest growing GM dealer in Kentucky and our goal this year is to finish second. To do that, we must sell a lot of Chevrolet, Buick, GMC and we have over 800 available to choose from. Tahoe, Suburban and GMC Yukons. We have 30 to choose from. Save 8500 on GMC all new electric Hummer 18 in stock. Shop us today. Over 200 new crew cabs available. Come to Greenup Avenue in Ashland, Kentucky. Go Tomcats. Go Wildcats. Go Blue. Sale ends October 31st. For nearly 30 years, Tim Renfro has dedicated his life to serving the community of Ashland. As a veteran of the Ashland Police Department and a proud graduate of Ashland Paul Blazer High School, Tim Renfro is ready to take his commitment to the next level as your next Ashland City Commissioner. Tim Renfro is eager to continue moving Ashland forward. I'm Tim Renfro. I'm running for Ashland City Commission to keep our community strong. Together, we can build a brighter future. I appreciate your support. Paid for by the candidate. This is Tom Cats Football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. First and ten for Round County at their own 40 as Woodman rolls right, looking to throw it downfield, and it comes up a little bit short. Broken up by Lions back there. It'll be second and ten for Round at their own 41-yard line. They trail it 21 to nothing with just under seven minutes to go here in the first half. Continued good pressure by yeah. Ashland defense. Uh, good. Woodman, yeah. who's a sophomore, just running for his life right now and uh, and not really finding a, a good any any kind of a pocket, right. to be honest with you. Todd Miller, big number 75, went after him that time. Woodman in the shotgun. He's got Hamilton on his left. Two wide outs to the right. Woodman looks to throw over here to the left side. He's got Thomas, and they nail him in the backfield. Good pursuit by frame for the Tomcats. A complete pass, but uh, may have lost a yard. As you mentioned earlier, Woodman. Ashby's uh, helmet came off. Yeah, so I guess He's got to come out. out. Yep. Nope. Official said, no, nah, don't worry about it. Okay, we may, won't. May have been not his fault, which is good. Yeah, that's so he's true. staying there. Yeah, Woodman is the son of uh, Jason Woodman, the new uh, head coach here at Moorhead State. And uh, he came up, up through a very good system up in Fairmont, West yeah. Virginia, the Fairmont Senior I guess feeder system, and you know, they, they have a great high school football yes, they team do. up there. Third and ten for Round County. They're 0 for 3 in third down conversions tonight. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left in Thomas. Woodman in the uh, shotgun on third and ten. He's 41. Takes a snap, looks left. Here comes the pressure, throwing long. Picked off by Cam Davis at the 50, 45, 40. Down the sideline he goes. 10, 5, touchdown, Tomcats. Cam Davis with the pick. Picked it at about the 50-yard line, returns it to the score, and the Cats now lead it with 5.52 to go here in the half, 27 to nothing. Dickie, I'm going to call it 56 yards. 56 yards, we'll go with that. And, and it didn't take long. No. <laughs> Cam Davis with his first touch now of the night. This one, a – what are they doing? Boy. They must have called, well, I they guess They called it's something. Not, take the, it's, they took the points off the board. Yeah, not a touchdown. I guess we had a, a hold. Penalty goes against Ashland. So the pick for Davis to return yeah. it for the score does not count. It was a hold. It was a hold, defensive and, holding against Ashland. And it was obviously done around the 20-yard line, so they moved the ball back to the 30. So it'll be first and 10 for Ashland from the 30-yard line of Round County. Again, a short field. So it'll stand at 21 nothing. And Tomcats will come out. Straighter back at quarterback. He's going to give it to Cam, and there he goes inside the 25, bouncing off to would-be tacklers inside the 20, the 19. Goes Cam Davis. I bet he gets his touchdown. You want to bet? Mr. Chad Tackett, the coach, says, yeah, he deserves it, and he does. Are you saying they're going to feed the beast? They're going to feed the they're beast. They're going to feed the beast. Gain of 11. 
First and ten, the Tomcats in the red zone for the second time tonight. Second and, or first and ten, the 19. Now timeout called by the official. We have an injured round yeah. county player coming off the field. And that'll send both teams to the benches. Tomcat football brought to you in part by Dr. Matthew Lewis and Lewis Family Care. For all your family's medical needs, we're here for you. Ashland Credit Union earned money for the Ashland schools with the ACU Tomcat Visa credit card. Ashland Credit Union goes big for the Tomcats in their brand new beautiful building down on Winchester right there at the uh, bridge. Brace yourself for orthodontics. We offer traditional braces in Invisalign and Sloan Realtor, Paramount Properties, and Van Art Properties. Premier Physical Therapy and Occupational Therapy, we get results. And UK King's Daughters Medical Center, excellent care for your family. Straighter in the shotgun. One wide out to each side. Davis in the backfield with him. He's going to get the call. There he goes inside the 15, battling down near the 13-yard line. Goes Cam again. I'm just telling you, that's who's going to carry the ball because they took a touchdown yep. away from him. Yep. And Chad Tackett doesn't stand for that. On the previous play, Chris Cross was the injured player for Rowan. Okay. Take it down to the 13 on a gain of six. Second and four for the Cats at the 13. Again, Strader in the backfield. Duckweiler goes wide left. Davis in the backfield with Strader on his right. Connor Messer is your tight end on the right. Again to Davis, straight up the gut. He'll get it down to near the 10-yard line, close to the first down, but not enough. And that'll bring up third down for the Cats, who are two of three in third down conversions tonight. They got a third down. They'll mark it right at the 11. Well, it'll be third down and about a yard. Clock is rolling. We're at 4.15 and a half. Ashland leaning 21-0. Davis in the backfield with Strader on his right. Again, Davis. This time he's going outside. He'll cut it back at the five. He'll lunge for the end zone. Touchdown, Tomcats. No flags this time, and the Cats now lead it. 27 to nothing. With 4.05 to go here in the half. Davis now gets his first touchdown of the night. Conway to hold. Barnett will try to make it four for four on the night. Thompson will snap it. It's on its way. Ooh, did it clear the crossbar? Yes, sir. It did, <laughs> but not by much. It's now Ashland 28 and Round County 0. We'll be back in just a moment here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Game day is here, and Food Fair has you covered with tailgating and party trays. Whether you're hosting the big game or heading to a party, Food Fair has what you need to make it a great day. Win or lose, from wings and tenders to fresh fruit, veggie trays, and sandwich platters, there's something for everyone. Call ahead, and Food Fair will handle the prep so you can focus on the fun. Food Fair, delightfully local, delightfully fresh, and your tailgating and party headquarters. Head to foodfairmarkets.com. Stop by Toyota of Ashland before or after the game and save thousands during truck month at Toyota of Ashland. Save up to $5,000 off MSRP on select Toyota Tundras and Toyota Tacomas. Up to $3,000 off MSRP. It's truck month at Toyota of Ashland. They look forward to seeing you soon. Stop by 3503 Winchester Avenue in Ashland, Kentucky or visit toyotaofashland.com. Toyota of Ashland Truck Month. Toyota Tundras is based off stock number T235773 and Tacoma stock number T052137. You're listening to Tomcats Football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Tomcats march 30 yards in four plays set up by the interception by Cam Davis. And Davis gets the score and Barnett the extra point, 28-0 now. Barnett's kick, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing around. Thomas finally fields it and then runs straight out of bounds at about the 11. And here comes a flag. Nope. Thought might uh, be actually, a late hit on the far side. It looked to me like actually he tried to pick the ball up and kick the ball. Out of oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. Round County's backed up. They're now in the shadow of their own goalpost. Ashton leading 28 nothing. Got 4:02 to go in the half. Coach Kelly Ford around County out on the field, wondering where that. Maybe a late flag came in, but it didn't. 
And it's first and 10 for a round at their own 11. Greenup County leads Boyd County 14-10. Cubcath leads Grant County 35-0. Ironton and Pikeville are tied at 14. Just checking Down out. in Pikeville. Pikeville, Pikeville. Pikeville. And uh, we just checked on the uh, Huntington Midland game. Uh, Huntington's up 38 nothing at halftime. They got a running clock. It'll be running. The Highlanders are rolling. God, they're good. Here's Woodman to throw, and now he's going to throw it upfield, and that one is way short of the mark. It tended for Owen, and about five yards short, it goes incomplete. It'll be second and ten for Round County now at their own 11-yard line, trailing at 28 to nothing. I think Maverick Ashby would have had things in hand if the ball had gotten there because yeah. he had nice coverage. Woodman looks to the sideline to get the play call. Sends his troops out. He's got one wide out to the near side. That's Owen. <laughs> Hamilton's in the backfield with him. <clears throat> and now they line up in the pistol formation. They got a H back on the left. Here's the snap. Going to give it to Hamilton. He's going to try and turn the corner on the near side. And the Tomcats have got him. That's Braxton Jennings carousing at about the eight. He lost yardage on that play. That'll bring up third down for round where they haven't converted tonight. They're over. They'll spot it back at the nine, a loss of two. Round County has a minus 13 yards rushing in the second quarter. Rowland had one play, uh, drive where they got seven plays in. Other than that, it's been four and three. Yep. Third and 12 for round back at their nine-yard line. The clock is on its way down to 320 of the uh, first half. Ashton leading 28 nothing. Woodman, your quarterback. Wide outs to the left side, two of them. Woodman again looks to the sideline, gets a play call. Hamilton now going to put going to put Richardson tight end right. And now Round County's just totally yeah. confused. They need a timeout, and they'll take it. They just about got a call for an illegal shift there because you had about two guys yeah, 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 moving at the same several time. Several moving at the same time. That'll stop the clock with 3.05 left to go in the half. Ashton leading at 28 nothing. Brown County has it third down and 12 at their own nine-yard line. So Ashland makes the stop here. They will uh, get the uh, football back. And a chance to get us a running clock in the first half. And according to the scoreboard, Ashland has all three timeouts left. Yeah, that first timeout might yeah, have been that, that an might official be a, 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 timeout. Exactly. I don't, I don't know. Maybe a media-type timeout. I don't know. We get me media timeouts during the uh, basketball tournaments in March, but well, haven't hadn't had any in football. Well. All right. Woodman brings him out. He's going to send Owen wide to the right side. Hamilton will be in the backfield with him. Richardson is your tight end on the right, and Thomas is your slot man on the right. Woodman in the shotgun on third and 12 at his own nine-yard line. Woodman awaits a snap. Tomcats in a five-man front. They're not cheating up. Now they're going to send uh, Newman and the linebacker, and the Tomcats, Kelly, is all over him back at the six-yard line. He's going to lose yardage. Wow. That will stop the clock. The Tomcats will burn a timeout here with 2.52 to go. They will burn out their first timeout. That will give them two, and they lost yardage back to the Six, we'll call it, maybe the five, where it'll be fourth down and extra long in a punting situation again for Sparks. And the Tomcats should have outstanding field position. Should. Yes, should. Uh, he's kicking from his own end zone. You know, he's in, yeah, he's in the end zone. So, Ashton should get good field position here. Round County's picked up three first downs tonight, one via penalty, one rushing, and one passing. That's it. Fourth down and long. They got to go to the 21. The football rests at about the five. Cam Davis will stand at about the Round County 35 40 yard line. So the Cats will get a short field or should get a short field here, leading at 28 to nothing. And we'll get a running clock. Don't forget at halftime, we'll talk to Tomcat head basketball coach uh, Ryan Bonner. Almost called him Luke. That's his brother. <laughs> Ryan Bonner. He's going to be with us. We had a great conversation earlier this week. And uh, I invite you to stick around and listen to it. 
All right, Sparks standing about seven, eight yards deep in his own end zone. And the Around County Vikings are a player short. Now they get a player out there. Now, Tomcats have been coming with pressure on these punts, but I don't think they will here with great field position on the line. They don't. Sparks gets it high, but very, very short. It'll hit the 30, 35, 40, 45. Gets a great roll up to midfield and down near the Tomcat 49-yard line. What a great. 45-yard punt. That was a terrible punt. It turns out to be a good one. So Ashland will start still pretty short field, just 51 yards away from pay dirt. First and 10 at their own 49-yard line, leading at 28 nothing. And lots of time on the clock at 240 and a couple of timeouts if they need them. I think Ashland would like to keep running the ball, but to save time, they have to throw the ball a couple of yeah. times. Duck Weiler and Lions come to the right. Cam Davis goes to the left. Jennings and Ashby are in the uh, backfield with Strader. <coughs> Who's in the shotgun formation? Now Jennings will line up as the H back on the right side. Strader will take the snap. He's looking downfield. He's going for all of it. Wide open. Duckweiler got it. 10-5. Touchdown. Tomcats. He got behind the receiver and it's all but over. 51 yards for the Tomcats score. Duckweiler gets his first touchdown reception of the year. His first touchdown. Period. Well, that didn't take long. Seven second drive. Yes, yeah, seven seconds. So the We've got a 12-second drive and a 7-second drive. This one says 2.33 left to go. Duckweiler gets his first one. A 51-yard pass from Strader. Barnett will try and make it 5-for-5 five five with Conway holding. Thompson snaps it, and Barnett splits the uprights. With 2.33 left to go here in the first half, it's now Ashland 35 Round County zero. We got a running clock. We'll be back for the final two minutes and 30, is that 33? Yep, 33 seconds in a moment here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Cat fans, it's football season once again, and that means deer season is right around the corner. Let Ashland Milling Company help you get that trophy buck. Ashland Milling Company has all the great products for your deer season. 50-pound bags of corn for $10.50. 20-pound trophy rocks for $19.95. Lucky Buck Deer Mineral for $19.95. And don't forget about your food plot mix. Ashland Milling Company would like to wish the Tomcats a very successful football season this year. Go Tomcats! From Ashland Milling Company. McMeans Pharmacy, where you're a name, not a number. They provide personalized care from their locally owned, trustworthy team. McMeans Pharmacy cares about you and your loved one's health and well-being. McMeans Pharmacy proudly supports the Ashland Tomcats. They're here to serve Ashland and their surrounding communities with fast, friendly service at both locations, 2920 Carter Avenue, Ashland, and 708 4th Street, South Point, Ohio. Now, back to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 at 1340. Barnett with a kickoff. is fielded by an up man about his 15. He's running to the far sideline and dropped it about the 18, 19 yard line. Carrying it was Memphis Hinton. Gets it up near the 20, and that's where Round County will start, but now they trail it 35 to nothing. Why is the clock stop? We have a running clock. Let's run the clock. Run the clock. Learn the rules. Okay. Way, that was Brandon McGee that got that nice play on coverage for Ash. Good. First and ten round county. Run the clock, says the official. And, and there we go. I could have told you that. <laughs> Sorry you're getting your brains beat out, but you got to run the clock. The rules are rules. First and ten for round county now. They started just shy of their 20. Again, it's Woodman, the quarterback. Hamilton's in the backfield with him. You got three wide, two wide outs to the right side. Woodman's going to give it to Hamilton around that short side. The Tomcats have got him back at the 17-yard line. That is Newman with the uh, stop. Clock rolling inside two minutes to go. 35 nothing Ashland. And a loss on the play of a couple of more. Second and 12 for round. Back at about their 18-yard line now. Woodman looks to the sideline. Three.
three wide outs to the left. Hinton and Owen, and now Hinton's going to go back into the backfield with Woodman in the pistol formation. And one wide out to the right in Thomas. Okay, clock rolling. We're down a minute five. Woodman awaits a snap, second and 12. He's going to give it. Last man through. Looks like maybe Hamilton. He'll bring it up near the original line of scrimmage, 20. And that'll bring up third down for Round County. Clock rolling at 45 seconds, 35 nothing Ashland. Give him three on the play. Third and nine for round. They're 0 for 5 in third down conversions tonight. And they have a third and nine at their own 21. Again, Woodman looks to the sideline, comes over to the sideline to get the play call from Coach Kelly Ford. And now he heads back out. He'll send Hinton into the backfield. Owen will go wide right. And looks like Richardson here on the near side. And again, they're in the pistol formation. Woodman on third and long. Last play of the quarter coming up. Five seconds. He takes a snap. Gives it to Hamilton. He's going to bring it across the 25, up near the 27-28. Short of the first down, and that will end, mercifully, this first half. At the end of one half a play, it's all Tomcats. It's Ashland 32. I'm sorry, 35. As the Tomcats have put the 35 and the running clock into motion here with 21 second quarter points, and Round County still has the goose egg. It's Ashland 35, Round County 0. Stay with us. We'll come back and talk to the head coach of the Tomcat Basketball Club, Ryan Bonner. That's all coming up here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Pump and Shop is proud to serve the tri-state area with well-lit, clean, fully stocked stores where you'll find exceptional customer service. Clark's Pump and Shop offers excellent prices on everyday items and great monthly specials on items that you love. Download their app from the App Store for even more great value. Clark's Pump and Shop, a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. They ensure that you'll have a wonderful experience that will make you want to return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. As the Ashland Tomcats take the field, let's also talk about the future of our city. Hi, I am DJ Reimer, a proud Ashland Tomcat alumni and candidate to serve you on the Ashland City Commission. Just like our Tomcats, I believe in teamwork, dedication, and making our community stronger. Together, we can tackle the challenges Ashland faces and create opportunities for all of our residents. Join me in supporting our Tomcats tonight and our community. Let's work together to keep Ashland moving forward. Go Tomcats! And on November 5th, vote DJ Reimer. Paid for by David J. DJ Reimer for Ashland City Commission. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics in Ashland is different. Bluegrass Wound Care is not just a wound care center, it's a wound healing center. The experts at Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics provide compassionate and advanced care. Their skilled team, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, is here for you. Make your appointment today and enjoy convenient parking within 25 feet of the door. Call 606-325-6493 or visit bluegrasswoundcare.com. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics, we are wound care in Kentucky. As the Ashland Tomcats take the field, let's also talk about the future of our city. Hi, I am DJ Reimer, a proud Ashland Tomcat alumni and candidate to serve you on the Ashland City Commission. Just like our Tomcats, I believe in teamwork, dedication, and making our community stronger. Together, we can tackle the challenges Ashland faces and create opportunities for all of our residents. Join me in supporting our Tomcats tonight and our community. Let's work together to keep Ashland moving forward. Go Tomcats! And on November 5th, vote DJ Reimer. Paid for by David J. DJ Reimer for Ashland City Commission. It's time for the Halftime Report. Let's head back to the stadium for a recap of the first half on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Coach Ryan Bonner, basketball's not far away. Six straight region championships. Easy question. What do you do for an encore? (laughs) (laughs) Ah, that's a, yeah, that's the million dollar question right there. (laughs) Now we're, uh. We're really excited. This preseason has been pretty special yeah. in, in terms of how our guys are attacking every day um, and the way that they've worked. Um, and on top of that, the um, the time that they're willing to put in on their own. Okay. Uh, we've got a lot of guys putting in their own time that's not necessarily required of them, but we all know and understand that that's kind of what it takes mm. to, to, if you want to talk about hanging that number seven banner. Mm-hmm. 
Um, it takes guys that are willing to put in unrequired time and 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 kind of hone their craft on their own. And uh, they've certainly done that uh, this off season. And uh, you know that's never been an issue here. Mm -hmm. uh, guys are always willing to work, but for some reason it just it feels different this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I couldn't be more pleased with where we're at at this point in preseason. Yeah, I know you want to hang that seventh one, something nobody has ever done. But the program is to that point, to that stage where, you know, the Tomcats expect to win it. Yeah, it's it's an expectation, and uh, uh, we uh, we hold our guys to an extremely high standard for that reason. Um, and uh, it makes me very proud to uh, to be the head coach here for that reason, because uh, just like you said, the the expectation is to 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 win a regional championship mm -hmm. with, and with that comes a lot of pressure. But you know, we we wouldn't have it any other way in this locker room. Exactly. As I look around this locker room, what a tradition! All the way from Jimmy Anderson and Ellis to the '61 uh, state championships, you walk in here and you get goosebumps. I mean. You look up there, and there's a lot of great players and a lot of great hardwood, a lot of great times. Yeah, and, and you know, that's one of the reasons we did this mural in the locker room uh, is because we want our players to understand and, uh, the kind of tradition that exists here at Ashland. It's important. It's very important to me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I want our guys to see that, 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 you know, the success that exists here has been from essentially day one. Exactly. You know, and uh, that's pretty serious. And uh, like I said, we, we have a standard that we have to live up to every single day. And uh, um, I, I think that our guys are very mature in the way that they handle that. All right. All right. You talked a little about the, the summer and the preseason and all that kind of stuff. Let's first of all talk about the basketball team. A couple of new additions. Tell us about them. Yeah. Uh, we got several new additions uh, this this past spring uh, summer uh, first being uh, Preston Hoskins who, who came here he was competing with Morgan County High School last year uh, and uh, was a great player great kid uh, he was uh, in the top tier in the state and, and made threes per game um, in percentage as well mm -hmm. I believe he's a phenomenal three-point shooter and can really help space the floor and uh, has some good sides to him about mm -hmm. six four um, he's picking up some uh, some college offers. He just uh, over the weekend received an offer from Bethany College mm -hmm. in West Virginia, um, and and he's a he, you know he's a gym rat. He he, mm -hmm. he loves being in the gym. He loves putting up shots and, and and working on his game. So his his three point shooting will definitely help us. And then mm -hmm. um, the next was uh, uh, Justin Hughes, who is a freshman who competed at South Point uh, High School or excuse me, he was an eighth grader last yeah. year, but he was at South Point. Um, uh, very long, very athletic, an incredible track athlete as mm -hmm. well. Um, and for, you know, for him being a freshman, what he can do athletically at his age is, is pretty rare. Okay. And uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, obviously being a freshman, he still has a very high ceiling and a, a lot to develop. But, again, for where he's at right now as a, as a freshman is pretty phenomenal. And uh, I do think that his, his length, his athleticism, and his knack for, for, for getting in the paint and finding the rim is going to help us this mm -hmm. year. Um, and then lastly, uh, Drew Smith, who uh, competed with uh, Boyd County last year. Mm -hmm. um, Drew uh, brings a variety of different skill sets uh, to, to our roster. He is an incredible three-point shooter, just like Preston, mm -hmm. um, and uh, is able to go by people. and. And not just create offense for himself, but he's also able to create for others. Um, and I think he's an excellent pressure defender. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of different ways those three mm -hmm. are going to be able to help us this year. Um, all three of them are great, outstanding young men. Um, great additions to our locker room. And, and, and we're, we're glad that they're going to be uh, in maroon and white. All right. How do you mold them? How do you mesh them all together with what you got coming back? Well, the first thing is they, they just – and they've done this. You have to get in here and you have to understand our culture and how we operate day to day. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. And they've adjusted basically with the snap of a finger. Uh, they've adjusted to that, um, you know, how we lift weights, how we work out in the gym, you know, the, the terminologies that we use when you're talking about 
the the game of basketball. They've mm-hmm. they've done a really good job of picking up on those things, and um, you know as we now now as we kind of transition into October fifteenth, it's they're going to have to learn how we practice. Okay, um, which is it, it, as you know is is pretty intense. <laughs> um, so you know that'll that'll be the next phase for them is figuring out how we practice day to day. Um, and based on what I've seen from them in the off season and picking up on things, I, I don't think that'll be an issue. They're all three great kids. They've been great in the locker room. Um, uh, no off the floor issues mm-hmm. either. Um, they, they're they're very well squared away. So again, I think all three of those guys will will contribute great things. Did they have the summer? I guess to to mesh with the other guys and and uh, do all that kind of stuff and get to know one another and how everybody plays? Yeah, so that that was a, a huge advantage is that all three of those guys uh, um, got to compete with us this summer. Okay. Um, so there's some familiarity there. Okay. Um, even, with they, even with all our football guys, we were able to get them all yeah. uh, together to play games this summer. So there is some familiarity there, uh, which is huge um, because you don't – guys understand – other players' tendencies, mm-hmm. what they're doing, what they like to do, and all that stuff. So they have had the opportunity to compete with us. Well, uh, we're taking on all comers again, Coach. Uh, we learned that several years ago, many, many years ago, I guess I could say. You got to get better, you got to play really good people, and there's no difference this year, maybe even a little tougher than last year. Uh, but that's the only way we know how to how to perform. That's the only way we know how to play. Yeah, and, and I'm – I don't, um, I don't like sheltering our team, and and I, myself included. I don't like sheltering us from adversity. Um, mm-hmm. I don't believe in that. And you know, I I think in order to get something, you got to go through something. And uh, we try to challenge our guys every single night. And and as a coach, uh, you know, not only do I want our players playing against the best players, I want to be coaching against the best coaches. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I want to be challenged every night, um, uh, you know, even if that means we're going to take our lumps because I'm going to learn something from that. I'm going to take something mm-hmm. away from that on things that, that I can be doing and decisions that I can be making a little bit better. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's, 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 you know, essentially why we do what we do is because we want our guys to have to battle through some type of adversity every night because um, I've, I've come to find that the teams that handle – Adversity, the best are the ones that are most, in most cases, still standing in March. Exactly, and it's proved to be pretty successful us over the years. Yeah, and <laughs> and, and our our and you know, with our culture and our, and our locker room, our guys kind of that's that's an expectation. Uh, they just understand that's what we're going to do, um, mm-hmm. and uh, they don't really they don't really blink an eye over that. Um, and I don't think they'd really have it any other way either. Um, but you know, and and you're you're talking about creating lifelong memories as well right. for these young men. You know, uh, getting to go to the King of the Bluegrass and and playing at Great Crossing against a kid that's committed to UK. Yeah. And you know, doing all these Art Bishop Alter, you know, who won a state championship in their division yeah. last year. Th- those kind of things create lifelong memories and things that these guys will be able to attached to and, and talk about 25, 30 years yeah. from now. And uh, that's just as important um, as anything else. I, you know, one of my jobs is I, I want these guys to uh, to have memories that last a, last them a lifetime. Well, now that you've had a few weeks and a few weeks over the summer to look at them, oh, what, do you, what do you see? Well, we have extraordinary depth that mm-hmm. I've never seen since I've been coaching here Good. at Ashland. Um, we are a legitimate nine to ten deep, um, which is going to allow us to play at an extremely rapid pace. Okay. We weren't really able to do that last year. Last year we had to win different, and and you know there's a hundred different right ways to win a basketball yeah. game. Um, you just have to decide what matches your personnel and how you need to win. Exactly. And I think this year it's going to be a lot different in terms of our pace of play. Um, I think we're going to be able to to pick up in the full court a lot more than Mm -hmm. what we did last year. Um, And and just really just pretty pretty simply put, run people to death. Okay. Um, And and our depth is going to allow us to do that. And I think it's going to provide an exciting brand of basketball that people are going to be excited about. 
and and I think our players are going to ha have comfort buying into that. As you approach the first official, I guess, day of practice, what concerns you? Are there areas that concern you? Yeah, um, you know, with our lack of size, we're 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 pretty guard heavy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, with our lack of size, rebounding concerns me, especially, you know, with <laughs> when you look at our schedule. Yeah. Um, and you counter that by just working on it every day. That's a, just a point of emphasis yeah. that we're going to have to make in practice every day. Um, rebounding and, 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 you know, defending uh, mismatches in the post. The, the, those kind of things are, are kind of what we need to make sure that we're really uh, working on early and often. Um, but, uh, you know, your pace of play can counter those things, okay. um, which is why I think it's so important that we uh, – that we that we play at a really fast pace. All right. Well, you and your staff are needed, commended. You're starting your third year, two straight regions, and back-to-back 20-win -back seasons. You and your staff are doing just a marvelous job, and and I know the Tomcat community is is uh, very very proud of Ryan Bonner and his staff and his kids. I, I appreciate you saying that, and I could not be more grateful for getting to do what I get to do every day. <laughs> um, because you know, when I left Blazer High School in 2009, this was this was my vision. Yeah, I, I wanted this. I didn't know if it would ever happen, uh, but here I am, and I, you know, I feel like I've got the greatest job in the world, getting to getting to lead the Tomcats, and then going back to your um, <laughs> your comment uh, regarding our coaching staff. You know, I'm obviously this is a biased comment, but I think it's the best coaching staff in the state of Kentucky. Yeah. Um, Every guy on our staff knows and understands their role and what yeah. they need to do to bring to the table, um, and they all are invested and they pour yeah. in, into our guys and they uh, they all have great relationships with our players. And it, and with with those coaches, it goes so much beyond X's and O's, um, and and that, that's really really important. And uh, I, I love every single one of those guys. Mm -hmm. And again, they they really do pour into our our players every yeah. single day. And I'd be remiss if we didn't talk about the newest addition to the Bonner family. How's our little girl doing? She's doing great. Elizabeth Ryan is her name. Uh, she's two weeks old. Um, uh, I'm doing a lot of uh, waking up and changing diapers sure. and, and giving, feeding bottles and doing all that stuff. But uh, it's, it's great. I, I love it. And uh, Chelsea, she's doing wonderful. And uh, uh, Lakin's getting used to it. Yeah, you know she's It'll getting <laughs> she's getting used to it. But uh, she likes to be mother hen and hold the baby <laughs> and do all that stuff. But uh, very, very, uh, you know, another obviously huge gratitude for me is my family and uh, um, and Chelsea and, and her support for me yeah. doing this. I could not do this without her support and uh, uh, just yeah, super thankful for them and uh, everybody's happy and healthy right okay. now. Okay. Thanks for coming by. Good luck. See you not far down the road. All right, Dickie. I appreciate it. Okay. Coach Ryan Bonner of the Tom Cats back in a moment on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. Burt's Pet Center in Ashland, Kentucky has the pets. The Burt's Pet Center is renowned for having the largest selection of freshwater and saltwater fish and coral in the tri-state. Burt's Pet Center also has a huge selection of all things pet. People say it's like going to a zoo. Reptiles, birds, small animals, puppies, and kittens, not to mention ponds and water features, along with all the supplies to keep them happy and healthy. Stop in and check us out today or visit us on Facebook. Burt's Pet Center in Ashton, Kentucky. It's like visiting a local zoo, but you can bring these guys home with you. Primary Plus has invested in your health and invested in the health of our community. Primary Plus Ashland is happy to grow our team, welcoming family nurse practitioner Morgan Elkins, as well as Kelsey Lucas to our counseling services team. Primary Plus Grayson is excited to add dermatology with nurse practitioner Kelly Sparks. Primary Care Pediatrics, women's health, infusion, counseling, pharmacy, and now dermatology. Complete care for the entire family. Primary Plus has 14 locations, including Ashland, Grayson, South Shore, Vanceburg, and their newest location in Moorhead. See them online at primaryplus.net. This is Clay at Pollock's, where you will find the Tri-State's largest selection of diamonds. We are also your home for all of your Pandora stackable rings and your Alex and Ani needs. Locally owned and operated since 1874, Pollock's is the name that you know and trust. We provide professional service with a personal touch that has kept clients coming back year after year. Visit Pollock's at 913 Winchester Avenue in Ashland or on the web at pollocksjewelers.com. 
Looking for a secure savings account? Come to Desco Federal Credit Union and explore our latest offers. With great rates and top-of-the-line personnel, Desco insures your money for at least $1 million. Relax and put your money where you know it's safe and growing. Desco Federal Credit Union is located at 1211 Carter Avenue and other locations in Ohio and West Virginia. Stop in or go online. An account at Desco is just what you need. DescoFCU.org. For nearly 30 years, Tim Renfro has dedicated his life to serving the community of Ashland. As a veteran of the Ashland Police Department and a proud graduate of Ashland Paul Blazer High School, Tim Renfro is ready to take his commitment to the next level as your next Ashland City Commissioner. Tim Renfro is eager to continue moving Ashland forward. I'm Tim Renfro. I'm running for Ashland City Commission to keep our community strong. Together, we can build a brighter future. I appreciate your support. Paid for by the candidate. Tired of seeing those dings, dents, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 44 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, from minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says, go Tomcats. This is the Halftime Report. On Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Cam Davis with the opening kickoff, and uh-oh, there he goes. He's at the 50, he's at the 40, and down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Tomcats. How far did that one go there, Uncle Bill? I will say that is a 86-yard run. We'll take it. 86 yards, 13 seconds. 11.47 to go here in the third. Cam Davis gets his second touchdown of the night. This one at 8, what'd you call it, 86? I, I said 86 because he picked yard. it up around the, around the 14. Okay. Pretty good kick. It was a pretty good was kick. Pretty yeah, it wasn't pretty, bad. Well done. Just no coverage. No coverage. The Tomcats now lead it 41 to nothing. That was the proverbial out kicking your coverage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Conway to hold it and Barnett to kick it. He's 5 for 5 on the night. It's a good snap. Conway slices it down. Whoop, did he get it across the crossbar? He did, just barely. He's had a couple of low ones tonight, but it doesn't matter. Ashland 42 and Round County 0 with a running clock here in the third quarter. The, uh, they'll Tomcats, restart it shortly here. Yeah, now. they'll restart it here shortly. As Barnett gets the extra point on the 86-yard kickoff return by Davis. The Tomcats in that first half had 300 yards in total offense. Brown County had 28. Mm. That should tell you the tail of the tape right there. Glad to have Coach Ryan Bonner with us at halftime. And the Tomcat basketball team will start things off December 2nd. We'll go to Great Crossing. I would say they'll probably be ranked first or second in the state of Kentucky. Uh, When we head down there to start the basketball season, we then come back and travel to Hazard that same week and then the following week we go to boyd county so we're starting three on the road great crossing hazard and boyd county three pretty tough games you do you think of the crowds at malachi moreno the great crossing seven one kid is going to draw around the yeah. state of kentucky since he's committed to uk yeah the cat fans will be wanting to see him yep here's merrick to kick it off the freshman it's short picked up by an up man and he falls to a knee i think he fumbled it right at the 2021 so Round County will start at first and ten at their uh, 21-yard line. <laughs> Ashton leading it 42 to nothing with a running clock here in the third. Well, we can catch up on scores. Rock Hill 16, Gallia Academy 6, Pikeville 21, Ironton 14, Raceland 28, Hazard 0. Russell leads West Carter 24 to 3. Johnson Central 29, Corbin 27, Greenup 22, Boyd County 17. All right, your quarterback will be Woodman. We've got a lot of new Tomcats in there defensively. I'll try and pick them up best I can. Here's Woodman. He's going to throw the football, look into the near sideline. Now he's going to tuck it and run. He'll bring it across the 25, up near the 27-28. Tackle made in there by the Tomcats. Big number 75 again. That looked like uh, Todd Miller. Also had help from Tyson Turner as... Woodman picks up about seven. Second and three for round, just shy of their 29. Woodman, the quarterback. Just checked on the uh, 
latest from Highlander Mountain, and it's 45 to nothing. 45? Over Midland in the third quarter. I think that's the good. The blowout continues. If you didn't get to see them, uh, we played them in a preseason scrimmage. Yeah. My God, they're good. Yeah. I thought Ashland had speed. Not compared to that bunch. No. Here's a give around the near side, carrying the football for the first time tonight is Thomas. He's got the first down across the 35 up near the 36 for Round County. They only had three first downs in that first half. And they just pick up a first down as, as you, they bring it to about the 38-yard line. You mentioned they had 28 yards, so obviously they got three first downs, but they had plenty of negative yards. Yes. There. Plenty. First and 10 for Round up at their 38-yard line. Tomcat JV basically playing defense right now. There's not one starter in the game. And, of course, Round County's kept their starters in, and that's what happened last week at Greenup. 42 nothing. Ashland leads it. Here's a give. Hamilton to go around the right side. Keys giving chase. Can't catch him. They run him out of bounds on the far side. Ben Pritchard, the junior, runs him out of bounds as he crosses the 40. Up near the 44-yard line. Brings up second down for Round County. And about four and a gain of six. So they've got 20 yards rushing here in the third quarter. That's five yards more than they had in the entire first half. Okay, Richardson the wide out to the near side. Goodman looks to the sideline for the play. Clock rolling. We're at just inside nine minutes to go here in the third on a running clock with Ashland leading 42 nothing. Goodman's in the pistol formation. He'll take the snap. He'll give it to Thomas again around the near side, breaking tackles across the 45-50 and down to the Tomcat 48. Kelly was there to bring him down. Along with uh, Tomcat number 57, that is Wyatt Riley, a freshman. He's a good one, too. Brown County picks up their fifth first down of the night. Down to the 48 of Ashland. First and 10 for the uh, Vikings at the Ashland 48. Their first team offense in there against basically our JVs and freshmen. Goodman in the shotgun formation, two wide outs to the left, and one man in the H-back formation. Goodman will, or Woodman will take the snap, give it to Hamilton around the short side of the field, got a yard maybe down near the 47. Kelly was there, and now they're throwing, uh, pushing flags, and here come the flags. They're pushing each other with these two guys. And he picked up enough for the first down, down to the Tomcat uh, 47. That was a nice pop there by Kelly. Yes, it was. And the first kid pushed him off, and then Kelly pushed him back. So usually the second kid gets caught. <laughs> I think someone took exception to that. Yes. <laughs> Unless they call it offsetting penalties. But yeah. we got flags everywhere. We await the call from the official. Clock still rolling at 7.20 of the third. Carl McClone, the referee. Corbin now leads Johnson Central 35-29. to 29. That's a dandy. Personal foul each way. Personal foul each way. Offsetting penalties will make it second down for Round County at the Ashland 47. For those of you who don't know, of course, Corbin is now coached by former yep. Cabell Midland coach Luke Sammons. Luke Sammons originally Luke, from uh, Louisa, Louisa Lawrence, and, Lawrence County boy. And obviously Luke's already got that to situation yeah. well in hand down there in Corbin. Corbin's got a good football program yeah. to begin with. And Luke, yeah. Luke got, uh, took it's, over a good program. It's not like he had to rebuild. Exactly. You reload. No, exactly. Woodman in the shotgun formation. He's got two wide outs to the left. He's going to look. He's going to give it on the end around, and that is Henton. He's down the sideline of the 40-35 and inside the Tomcat 30 to about the 28. Picks up the Round County first down, goes Hinton. Of course, we've been given those scores, and, and the one that I know that a lot of people are looking at is that Pikeville-Ironton game. Ironton is in danger of losing a second straight game. That's unheard. That's, un that's unheard. <laughs> first and ten for uh, Round County at the ass on 30. Clock rolling as we've turned inside six minutes, halfway through the third. Running clock, Ashland leads it 42-0. to zero. Woodman in the shotgun. He's flanked on each side by Thomas and Hamilton. Takes a snap. He's going to give it to Hamilton around the left side. Now he cuts up to the 25 and down to the 23-yard line. Goes Hamilton. We'll bring up second and short for Round County on a gain of about seven. The Vikings, 
but that play to have matched their longest drive of the night. That was really? play, play seven on this drive. Gain of seven, second and three for round at the Ashland 23. Cats leading 42 nothing. Click down near the five minute mark. Owen a wide out to the right side. H back is Thomas. Hamilton with Woodman in the backfield on his left flank. And there's a flag on the play. Tomcats got into the neutral zone. That'll cost the Cats five and give uh, Round County an automatic first down. Their seventh of the night. Two via penalty. Should take it down to the red zone or inside the red zone to the at the 18-yard line, maybe 19. Round County in the red zone for the first time tonight. First and 10 for Round at the Ashland 19. Owen goes wide right, Richardson to the left, the short side. In the pistol formation is Woodman. Woodman takes a snap, going to give it around the near side. Here comes Thomas, they got him, and now he's going to break free and get down near the 16. Clock continues to roll as we hit near the four-minute mark of the third, and Ashland leading 42-0. Baseball field over to our left, they're watering the field. Yeah. Why are they doing that? With all the rain we've had. And, of course, the lights are on. And the so. lights are on. They're watering the field. Maybe they have a game. I don't know. Well, it could be. You know, there's a lot of fall ball being played. Yep. I know Marshall has a fall ball game on Sunday at yep. Jack Cook Field with Ohio. There you go. Gain of three, second and seven at the 16 for round. They're at the Tomcats 16-yard line. Again, two wide outs to the right. Hamilton to go to that wide side following his blockers. Tomcats had him in the backfield. Keys couldn't bring him down, so he'll run out of bounds on the far side. Down near the 15, maybe the 14-yard line. Keys did a nice job of forcing him. Yeah. But he just couldn't get a grab on him. Need to, need to bring him down. Third down and five on a gain of a couple. My grandson Maddox with us tonight, as he was last week. And he's got a game on Sunday, don't you, bud? Okay. Playing pretty good baseball, this guy. He ain't bad. Good boy. Third and five for round. They're 0 for in third down conversions tonight. Clock just inside three minutes of the third with Ashton leading at 42 zip. Again, it's Woodman in the shotgun formation. Two wide outs right. The H back is Thomas. Hamilton on the reverse. Fumbles a football. Round County falls on it back at about the 20. They got it back, though. Yeah, but he Wasn't a good handoff. No. A couple of Round County's players have those safety helmets. Not the, yeah. what do you call the what protective kind of, thing? I, I don't know. It's what do you like call a, that? A it's shield? Like a shell, a shell, or a shield? Yeah. In, I didn't know they were legal to the, wear. Yeah, and, I thought and, you had to take them off. You and, could wear them during practice, but not in a game. But you, you obviously, were, you can. Yeah, and you and I were talking before the game. I, I actually saw an NFL player wearing one uh, last yeah. week. Round County is going to try and score. They're going to send in the field goal unit on 4th and 11. So it'll be about a 36-yard, 26-yard uh, line plus the 10 of the end zone. The kicker is going to be Schrader. And did he split the uprights? No, he missed it off to the left side. Missed field goal for Round County of 36 yards. And Ashland continues to lead it 42 to nothing. They just wanted to get rid of that goose egg on the board, and that ain't going to happen. Clock is stopped at 152. Now it's running. And now we get it going. Ashland will have it first and 10 at their own 20. Backed up, and a whole new Tomcat offensive unit coming out now. Dalen Farrow, a freshman, will be uh, one of the running backs. Quarterback, I guess, will be Conway, I would think. I'll check the rest of them as they break huddle. Farrell is in the backfield for the Cats. And the quarterback is Conway. Farrell's on one side of him. Haven't picked up the other running back. we got a wide out to each side. They give it to Farrell, and here he goes, 25-30. He's got more speed in a little bit, and he's loose. At midfield, Farrell turning it on. Down the sideline he goes. 10-5. Touchdown! Did he get there? The official says no. No, he made it to the one-yard line. <laughs> 79-yard run for Dalen Farrow. 
first and goal for the Cats at the one. And this kid's is, freshman, and he's got more speed in a little bit. He is quicker than a hiccup. Yeah, he, he, he can pick him up and lay him down, kids. First and goal for the Cats at the one-yard line of Round County. Conway goes to the sideline, get the play call. In fact, it's now he heads back. The one. It's like almost touching the goal line. It is. Look at that. How come they just didn't give it to him? <laughs> come on, ref. Obviously, it was He's just close a to child, well, for and, God's and sake. And the only problem was, of course, the official was trailing yeah. big time and wasn't even close to actually being on the spot. Avian Lee is a wide out to the left side. Conway in the shotgun. First and goal from the one, and they give it off the left side, and that is Tanner Christian who carries it. Last play of the uh, first, uh, third quarter, and that will end the third quarter. Zero for the Round County Vikings, 42 for the Tomcats as they outscore them 7 0. 42 0 at the end of three. We'll come back with the fourth and final in just a few minutes here on Cat Sports 93 3 and 13 40. Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby has been providing accounting, tax, and attest services for the tri state community and across the United States. Since 1951, individuals, medical practices, attorneys, corporations, Main Street businesses, local schools, and governments have relied on us for expert advice, tax preparation, and attest services. With offices in Ashland and Cincinnati, Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby are here for your accounting and tax needs. For over 70 years, Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby has been there for businesses in our community. They're here for yours, too. Call them and let Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby provide for the future of your business. Mark Porter Chevrolet Buick GMC in Ashland, Kentucky is celebrating fall savings with great GM deals. New 24 Buick and Vista starting at $24,995 or 24 Chevy Track starting at $21,995. To kick off the fall, Carberry says it's time to kick some beep. Just like Ole Miss found out, you do not mess with blue gloves. 24 Chevy Heavy Duty pickup saved up to $9,000 off. 24 Chevy 1500 Silverado saved up to $12,000 off. 2250 trade assists must trade a 2010 or newer. Save up to $14,000 off. GMC Sierra 1500 pickups in stock. The all new redesigned Buick Envision and Enclaves. We have them. Must see today. Shop 24 hours at markportergm.com. We are the fastest growing GM dealer in Kentucky and our goal this year is to finish second. To do that, we must sell a lot of Chevrolet Buick GMC and we have over 800 available to choose from. Tahoe, Suburban, and GMC Yukon. We have 30 to choose from. Save 8500 on GMC all-new electric Hummer, 18 in stock. Shop us today. Over 200 new crew cabs available. Come to Greenup Avenue in Ashland, Kentucky. Go Tomcats. Go Wildcats. Go Blue. Sell ends October 31st. This is Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Second and goal for the Tomcats. Conway bobbles the snap, goes back and gets it, and promptly runs it right into the end zone. So with 11.52 left to go here in the uh, football game, Conway gets his second touchdown of the year. And the Tomcats have blown it out to a 48 to nothing lead. Conway will hold it, and now the freshman... Uh, for the Tomcats, Seth Morris will try it. His first try at an extra point tonight on its way, and it looks good, and by golly, it is. So with 11.52 and a running clock here in the fourth and final, it's now Ashland 49 and Round County 0. We'll be back in just a moment here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Well, maybe not. I forgot... Uh, <laughs> Aiden had to. Uh, he had another thing he had to do. I will give you the uh, okay. The drive three three plays, three plays eighty right. yards and one fifty nine. Our longest drive tonight has been three fifty six. Yeah. I mean we've had twelve seconds, thirteen seconds, seven seconds. It's just what do you do? And the longest drive play wise has been nine plays. Nine plays. Five plays, nine plays, one play. Four plays, yes. one play, three plays. <laughs> That's how quickly the Tomcats have scored in this game. Yes. 49 nothing. Tomcats lead it. Let's catch up on some scores. Ironton has come back to tie Pikeville 21 all. Corbin 35, Johnson Central 29. Rock Hill leads Gallia 16 to 6. Raceland shutting out Hazard 28 nothing. Russell 24, West Carter 3. And. That's it. Here we go. And so in kickoff by Morris is taken by an up man. He spins up near the 20, 24, 25 yard line. Bringing it back was Jace Coates. And Ironton, or Ironton, 
Round County will start. Now trailing 49 to nothing. And we got a flag. Yep, we got a late flag. Just came in. I don't know what that's all about. Looks like right here on the uh, Round County sideline. Might be against them. Ashland players were already headed to the far sideline. So apparently it may be a little unsportsmanlike conduct type thing, maybe. Still waiting. Don't yet. know. They're marking it off against Round County. Unsportsmanlike yep. conduct, yeah. Their third penalty a night. That'll be half the distance to the goal, which will take it back to the 13. The, ta the tackle on the play actually extended out of bounds, and there might have been a little, little contact. There you or, go. Or verbal. <laughs> a little verbal, yeah. verbal, too. First and 10, they mark it at the 12. Boyd County needs now leads green up 25-22. First and 10 for Round County at their own 12. Woodman is still your quarterback. Tom Katz with lots of new players in there. 49 to nothing. Ashland leads it. Running clock. We're down to 10 and a half to go. Here's the give to Hamilton. Around the right side he comes. 15-20. He's off and running. We may not catch him. He's down inside the 40. Kelly trying to catch him at the 10. Five. He's not going to get it. He's there. Mr. Hamilton goes the distance. Brown County will not get shut out tonight. That one will be about an 87-yarder, huh? It is an 87-yarder, yes. So Round County finally gets on the board with 10-11 uh, to go here in the football game. Against the Tomcat JVs and freshmen. Hamilton goes 87 yards. 34 second drive for yeah. Rowan County. Didn't take him long. And to try the extra point is Sparks or Schrader. I can't see. He's got a two. But I don't know if he's a one two or a two. Lines are down. Ball is placed on its good to kick good by Schrader. Nope. Nope. He missed it off to the right side. Just outside the right upright. It's Ashland 49 and Round County 6. I think he's back from his little break. We'll take a break and we'll come right back here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. For nearly 30 years, Tim Renfro has dedicated his life to serving the community of Ashland. As a veteran of the Ashland Police Department and a proud graduate of Ashland Paul Blazer High School, Tim Renfro is ready to take his commitment to the next level as your next Ashland City Commissioner. Tim Renfro is eager to continue moving Ashland forward. I'm Tim Renfro. I'm running for Ashland City Commission to keep our community strong. Together, we can build a brighter future. I appreciate your support. Paid for by the candidate. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics in Ashland is different. Bluegrass Wound Care is not just a wound care center, it's a wound healing center. The experts at Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics provide compassionate and advanced care. Their skilled team, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, is here for you. Make your appointment today and enjoy convenient parking within 25 feet of the door. Call 606-325-6493 or visit bluegrasswoundcare.com. Bluegrass Wound Care and Hyperbarics. We are wound care in Kentucky. You're listening to Tom Cats Football on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. Well, uh, rounds on the board with an 87-yard run by Hamilton. One play in 87 yards in about a half a minute. The kick went wide right. Ashton leads it 49. Well, now they say 49-7. Maybe they would, did kick it up good, huh? What do you think? Uh, those guys made a no I thought he signal. said no. I thought the guy here on the near side said no. Yeah. Sound okay. like the old, uh, you see a car accident or five, five people see a car accident and yeah. see five different things. You got it. So it's 49 to 7. Doesn't really matter. Here we go with a kickoff by Sparks. Spins it down uh, the middle of the field. Ashland's up man picks it up at the 25 30. Across the 40, up near the 42-43. And I'm not sure who that was. But whoever it is, he's getting up a little bit slow. I think it was Keys. Keys, it is Keys. Yep. So Ashton will start first and 10. Good field position. Up across her 40 at about the 43-yard line. First and 10 for the Cats. 49-7 with 9.40 and a moving clock here in the fourth and final. Tomcats about to... Uh, 
go to 6-1, and 2-0 and oh in the district. That's what's important. Conway is your quarterback. And we got Farrell in the backfield, maybe Christian. Two, three wide outs, two on top, one to the left for Conway. He has not attempted to pass this year. Maybe it's time. Nope, going to give it to Farrell. Around the right side he goes. He's at the 45, 50, 45, 40, down the sideline. They run him out of bounds, but they'll bring it back. I think we got a hold back downfield, about the 46. Another nice run by Farrell. Picks up nearly 20, but it, it won't count. They'll bring it back on a Tomcat penalty. They're fourth of the night. From the 46, that'll take it back to the 36. But it'll be first down and about 16. Conway has Avian Lee, one wide out to the near side. I can't pick up the other two over there, but I'll try my best. Conway in the shotgun. Farrow and Christian in the backfield with him. They give on the counter, and there goes Farrow again. Makes his move, breaks a tackle. Doesn't get much. Up near the 38-39 yard line goes Farrow. Brings up second down. And about 13 will give him three. Second and 13 for the Cats. Just shy of the 39. Clock is at eight minutes to go in the football game. 49-7. to Ashland leads it. Ironton now leading Pikeville, 27-21. He missed the extra point. Watch out. Pikeville kicks that bad boy through. It's over if they score. Farrow to the near side along with Avian Lee. Conway in the backfield. He's got Christian on his left hip. Two wideouts up on top for Conway. He looks to throw. Nope, he's going to give it to Christian. Big hole. He's at the 45-50. And first down, I think, to the Round County 48-yard line. He is right at it, but I, they may have marked him a little short. I think that was Xavier Johnson. I don't think that was Christian. I think that, it was 25. That was Xavier Johnson, 25. 25, okay. Yep. Third and one as he picks up 12 on the carry. Xavier Johnson's first carry of the year. And Xavier can pick him up and put him down. Too. Yeah, he pretty quick. Just like Darrow. Uh -huh. Farrow. Farrow. Third and one for the Cats at the uh, Round County 49. Four down territory as we're inside seven minutes to play in this one. Ashland leads it 49 to 7. Two wideouts up on top for the Tomcats in Carson Owens and Schmeiser. Conway in the shotgun. He's going to roll, leave it off to his left. He, he breaks a tackle, and he's got the first down for the Tomcats, and that is Luke McCoy battling down near the Round County 40. Good run by McCoy, a freshman. Picks up about eight in the Tomcat first down. That's their 13th of the night. First and 10 for the Cats at the Round County 41. Again, two wideouts up on top. Owen and Smizer, I think. And Lee is the wideout to the near side. Short side of the field. Farrell's back in the game. And it might be Xavier Johnson back there with Conway. They're going to give it to Farrell. He's going to the wide side of the field at the 40, 35, breaking tackle at the 30, spins down to the 25. Another nice run by Farrow. And another Tomcat first down. Down to the round county, 25-yard line. First and 10 for the Cats, and the clock reads five and a half minutes to go. Conway has a play call from the far sideline. Runs it in on first and 10 for Ashland at the 25 of round. Of course, Caleb is the younger brother of Tyler and Tucker and the son of our athletic director, Jim Conway, and his wife, Teresa. If I leave her out, she'll get on me. Here's a give to Xavier Johnson. He almost falls down, but he gets his balance and picks up four or five yards down near the 21-yard line. Got spun around, but got his balance back, and They'll spot it at the 26 and a gain of four. Showed nice balance there. Yeah, most importantly, he ran the right direction, yeah, not the wrong exactly. direction. Lee goes out for the Tomcats at a wide out. And maybe Hamilton is in at a wide out. Conway in a shotgun, second and six at the 21 of round. 
Conway going to give it to Farrell. There he goes inside the 20, 15, busts it outside. They'll throw him down and backwards to the 20, but he's very close to a Tomcat first down with his forward motion. <coughs> They'll spot it at the 17, call it third down and two. For the Tomcats at the 17, Aslan into the red zone for the third time tonight. Four minutes to go in this one. 49 to 7, Ashlyn. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left for Conway on third and two in four down territory. Here's a give to Farrell again on the right side. He's inside the 15, 10 5, cuts back to his left, and down at about the four goes Farrell. And another Tomcat first down will make it first and goal for the Cats at about the four. With this running clock, the Tomcats have actually already used six minutes on this drive. Have they really? Yeah, because they started at 9.38 and we're at 3.28 right now. There you go. First and goal for Ashland at the round county five. Somebody's going to score here that hadn't scored tonight. Or maybe in their this year or maybe in their entire career. This will be a, I'm keeping the ball. Yeah, well, it could be a Conway. Now, he scored this year, but it might be a. Xavier Johnson or a Farrell? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe Christian. Conway in the shotgun. One man on his back. That's Xavier Johnson. He gets it straight up the gut. He's in for the score. Xavier Johnson goes in from five yards out. And the catch now lead it. 55 to 6. The clock at 2.51 left to go in the ball game. Xavier Johnson, his first Tomcat touchdown. It's a big deal. <coughs> Conway will hold it. Well, we don't have a holder. Hello, anybody want to hold it for uh, Messer or not? Mm, right now, we don't have a holder. How about Morris? There, there we go. Somebody's and here we go. I think that's Avian Lee who's going to trot out and try and hold it. He's on the wrong side because he's a left-footed kicker. Avian Lee, <laughs> nope, you moved up too far. He's stand he went down to seven. Now he's going down to ten. Of course he could. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's go. on its way, and that's not even close. That was total confusion. Could have gone old school and drop kicked it. Yeah, drop kicked it. There you go. <laughs> Ashland, 56, round county seven. We got 251 left to go in this football game. We'll come back with this final 251 in a moment here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340. As the Ashland Tomcats take the field, let's also talk about the future of our city. Hi, I am DJ Reimer, a proud Ashland Tomcat alumni and candidate to serve you on the Ashland City Commission. Just like our Tomcats, I believe in teamwork, dedication, and making our community stronger. Together, we can tackle the challenges Ashland faces and create opportunities for all of our residents. Join me in supporting our Tomcats tonight and our community. Let's work together to keep Ashland moving forward. Go Tomcats! And on November 5th, love DJ Reimer. Paid for by David J. DJ Reimer for Ashland City Commission. Burt's Pet Center in Ashland, Kentucky has the pets. The Burt's Pet Center is renowned for having the largest selection of freshwater and saltwater fish and coral in the tri-state. Burt's Pet Center also has a huge selection of all things pet. People say it's like going to a zoo. Reptiles, birds, small animals, puppies, and kittens, not to mention ponds and water features, along with all the supplies to keep them happy and healthy. Stop in and check us out today or visit us on Facebook. Burt's Pet Center in Ashland, Kentucky. It's like visiting a local zoo, but you can bring these guys home with you. Now, back to Tomcats football on Cat Sports 93.3 at 13.40. Morris ready to kick it off for the Tomcats, who now lead it 56-7. Or 55, I'm sorry, we missed the extra point, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. 55-7, Johnson got the touchdown, the kick was blocked. Morris to kick it off, high but not very deep. Taken by an up man. He fumbles it at his 26. He's in big trouble. He's going backwards. And they nail him at about the 23-yard line. 55-7. to Ashland leads it. Xavier Johnson got the touchdown for the Cats. Round will start there. First and 10 at about their 23-yard line. Trailing it. Well, we'll put it up to the 25. Who cares? Just put it down. First and 10. Corbin leads Johnson Central now 43-29. Rock Hill 30, Gallia Academy 12. 
Greenup County's come back to take the lead on Boyd, 30 to 25. Huntington leading uh, Midland 52 to 7 in the Ooh, fourth quarter. Ugly. And Wayne is beating Lincoln County in uh, West Virginia 2A, 20 to 6. There you go. Quarterback is Woodman, two wide outs to the left side. Brown County still with their starters in the game. Hamilton's in there. They're going to give it this time to uh, Hinton. And, or I'm sorry, that's Smith, not Hinton. And he'll bring it up to about the 29-yard line on a gain of about four. Second and six for Round County. Clock at 90 seconds to play in this one, 55 to seven. Woodman, your quarterback. Thomas in the backfield with him. Round County hadn't substituted much. I think we got about all freshmen in there now. Here's Winman rolling to his left, looking, 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 throwing downfield, and it's nearly picked off. That was Dalen Farrow that got a hand on it about the 50-yard line. It falls incomplete. We're already under a Third minute. Third down. Yeah, this, this might be the... Might be the last play might coming be up. be it. Third and six for Round County at their own 29. They have not converted a third down tonight. They have a third and six at their own 29-yard line. Clock rolling down to 38 seconds to go. This will be our last play of the game. Ashland going to win it comfortably tonight. 55-7 to seven is the score right now. <laughs> it will probably stay that. Woodman in the shotgun. Two wide outs to the left. He's going to give it. There's a newcomer in the game for Round County carrying the football. I think that was, I'm not sure who that was. Was it number one? Nope, it was Thomas. I'm sorry. He's not a newcomer. He's been there most of the game. Takes it across the 30-32. A couple of game pickup, and both teams are walking off the field. And the uh, game is now history. Ashton wins it 55-7, to outscoring Round County 13-7 to in that final stanza. Tomcats move to 6-1 and one on the season. And more importantly, they get to 2-0 and oh in the district as the Tomcats uh, win their fourth game in a row. Round County will drop their second game in a row. They'll fall to 2-4 and 0-1 and oh and one in district play. Final score again is Ashland 55 and Round County 7. We'll come back to wrap this one up. And don't um, Make sure you stay with us because we'll have Coach Chad Tackett's postgame comments brought to you by People helping people. That's all coming up here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 13.40. McMeaton's Pharmacy, where you're a name, not a number. They provide personalized care from their locally owned, trustworthy team. McMeaton's Pharmacy cares about you and your loved one's health and well-being. McMeaton's Pharmacy proudly supports the Ashland Tomcats. They're here to serve Ashland and their surrounding communities with fast, friendly service at both locations, 2920 Carter Avenue, Ashland, and 708 4th Street, South Point, Ohio. Clark's Pump and Shop and the Clark family have proudly served your family since 1976. Clark's Pump and Shop and the John W. Clark Oil Company has a goal to give back to the community in appreciation for your support. Clark Family Charities invest in various civic projects to benefit the area and also provide scholarships to local students with the Clark Family Scholarship and the Rodney Clark Memorial Scholarship. The Clark family is honored to invest in our future and is a proud supporter of the Ashland Tomcats. Return, refresh, and refuel at Clark's Pump and Job. Invest in yourself and your future at KFB The Better Bank. From our FDIC insured student savings account to our wealth management department, KFB has a service for every walk of life. At KFB, we are dedicated to giving you the best service in the tri-state. Visit us at www.kfb.bank to find out how we can help you invest in yourself and your future. KFB The Better Bank, located in Ashland, Summit, Catlisburg, Louisa, and Wheelersburg. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby has been providing accounting, tax, and attest services for the tri-state community and across the United States. Since 1951, individuals, medical practices, attorneys, corporations, Main Street businesses, local schools, and governments have relied on us for expert advice, tax preparation, and attest services with offices in Ashland and Cincinnati. Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby are here for your accounting and tax needs. For over 70 years, Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby has been there for businesses in our community. They're here for yours, too. Call them and let Kelly Galloway Smith Goolsby provide for the future of your business. It's time for the post game report on Cat Sports 93 3 at 1340. Tomcats win it here tonight, as expected. Uh, we expected to come in here and win this one and uh, run away with it, and that's exactly what happened. Ashland 55, Green of County 7. Didn't take the Tomcats long. First series, 841 to go in the quarter. A 51 yard touchdown pass from Strader to Lions. A five play, 65 yard drive. It took nearly two minutes. Barnett made it 7 0. Tomcats weren't done in the first quarter as Jennings gets a six-yard run. A nine-play, 78-yard drive that took nearly four minutes off the clock. And with 2.27 to go in the quarter, Ashland landed 14 to nothing, and that's the way the first stanza end. Tomcats got uh, a few more in the second quarter. With 10.12 to go, Jennings, a 63-yard pass from Strader. Bennett made the extra point, or Barnett, the extra point, 21 nothing. Uh, 4.05 to go in the second quarter. Davis gets his first touchdown of the night. This one, 11-yard run, a four-play, 30-yard drive set up by his own pass interception. Barnett made it 35 nothing in the uh, or 28 nothing, and the Tomcats weren't done with 2.39 to go in the first half. Dylan Duckweiler gets his first touchdown as a Tomcat, a 51-yard pass from Strader. Barnett made it 35 to nothing, and the running clock started. Tomcats got a third quarter score. This time is start the third. An 86-yard touchdown uh, kickoff return by Cam Davis. And Barnett with the extra point made it 42 nothing. And then the Tomcats get uh, a yet another score as uh, Conway goes in from three yards out. A three-play 80-yard drive. Morris booted the extra point. It's 49 to nothing. Uh, Round County's only score came with 10-11 to go. Hamilton with a nice 87-yard run. Schrader with the extra point made it 49-7, but the Tomcats were not done yet. With 2.51 to go, Xavier Johnson gets a five-yard run, capping off a nine-play 57-yard drive. The kick was blocked, and Ashland wins it 55-7. Tomcats do it on the ground and through the air. They got uh, nearly another 500 yards in total offense. And holding Round County under 200, and most of that came against our JVs and freshmen at the uh, tail end of the game. Uh, so it was all Tomcats tonight. Let's catch up on some scores before we j- have Chad Tackett and his postgame comments. Brought to you by People Helping People. Raceland 42, Hazard 0, Rock Hill 37, Gallia Academy 12, Greenup County 36, Boyd County 25, Corbin 43, Johnson Central 29. And Huntington High is blasting Cabell Midland by about 50. 52 to 7. Was 52 last to 7. That there one's over. And that one's over. It was over maybe before it started. <laughs> Huntington High is very good. And, 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 of course, they play for the shield. The shield. So the shield will what be. What does the shield look like? Actually, a it, shield, I it is a shield, and they, it's painted in the Huntington colors on one side and the Midland okay. colors on the other. Okay. And Huntington High's had that for... Well, actually, Midland's most of the years has most won it. It was, okay. But Huntington's got it now. And uh, they may not give it up. <laughs> <laughs> that bunch is pretty good. Yes. That bunch is pretty good. All right, 55-7, to seven, the Tomcats win it. Chad Tackett will make his way up here momentarily with his postgame comments brought to you by People Helping People. We'll come back with those in just a few minutes. Stay with us here on Cat Sports 93.3 and uh, 1340. As the Ashland Tomcats take the field, let's also talk about the future of our city. Hi, I am DJ Reimer, a proud Ashland Tomcat alumni and candidate to serve you on the Ashland City Commission. Just like our Tomcats, I believe in teamwork, dedication, and making our community stronger. Together, we can tackle the challenges Ashland faces and create opportunities for all of our residents. Join me in supporting our Tomcats tonight and our community. Let's work together to keep Ashland moving forward. Go Tomcats. And on November 5th, vote DJ Reimer. Paid for by David J. DJ Reimer for Ashland City Commission. Burt's Pet Center in Ashland, Kentucky has the pets. The Burt's Pet Center is renowned for having the largest selection of freshwater and saltwater fish and coral in the tri-state. Burt's Pet Center also has a huge selection of all things pet. People say it's like going to a zoo. 
reptiles, birds, small animals, puppies, and kittens, not to mention ponds and water features, along with all the supplies to keep them happy and healthy. Stop in and check us out today or visit us on Facebook. Bird's Pet Center in Ashton, Kentucky. It's like visiting a local zoo, but you can bring these guys home with you. Primary Plus has invested in your health and invested in the health of our community. Primary Plus Ashland is happy to grow our team welcoming family nurse practitioner Morgan Elkins as well as Kelsey Lucas to our counseling services team. Primary Plus Grayson is excited to add dermatology with nurse practitioner Kelly Sparks. Primary Care Pediatrics, Women's Health, Infusion, Counseling, Pharmacy, and now Dermatology. Complete care for the entire family. Primary Plus has 14 locations including Ashland, Grayson, South Shore, Vanceburg, and their newest location in Moorhead. See them online at primaryplus.net. This is Clay at Pollock's, where you will find the Tri-State's largest selection of diamonds. We are also your home for all of your Pandora stackable rings and your Alex and Ani needs. Locally owned and operated since 1874, Pollock's is the name that you know and trust. We provide professional service with a personal touch that has kept clients coming back year after year. Visit Pollock's at 913 Winchester Avenue in Ashland or on the web at pollockstoolers.com. Looking for a secure savings account? Come to Desco Federal Credit Union and explore our latest offers. With great rates and top-of-the-line personnel, Desco insures your money for at least $1 million. Relax and put your money where you know it's safe and growing. Desco Federal Credit Union is located at 1211 Carter Avenue and other locations in Ohio and West Virginia. Stop in or go online. An account at Desco is just what you need. DescoFCU.org. For nearly 30 years, Tim Renfro has dedicated his life to serving the community of Ashland. As a veteran of the Ashland Police Department and a proud graduate of Ashland Paul Blazer High School, Tim Renfro is ready to take his commitment to the next level as your next Ashland City Commissioner. Tim Renfro is eager to continue moving Ashland forward. I'm Tim Renfro. I'm running for Ashland City Commission to keep our community strong. Together, we can build a brighter future. I appreciate your support. Paid for by the candidate. Tired of seeing those dings, dents, and scratches on your car? Then you need to see McLeod's Body Shop, your trusted partner for all things auto repair and restoration for 44 years. At McLeod's Body Shop, we're not just in the business of fixing cars, we're in the business of turning heads. Our team of skilled technicians is dedicated to bringing your vehicle back to its prime. No matter the make or model, from minor touch-ups to major overhauls, McLeod's Body Shop has you covered. McLeod's Body Shop says, go Tomcats. This is the Post Game Report on Cat Sports 93.3 at 1340. 55-7, the uh, Tomcats win it here tonight over the uh, Round County Vikings. Chad Tackett's up here with his post-game comments brought to you by People Helping People. And Coach did again, got on them uh, early and often. Yeah, uh, kids, uh, came, we came out a little flat. Um, you know, we had a big win last week and um, came out a little flat, just kind of going through the motions. I think maybe the uh, playing in a new new place environment uh kind of you know it's open here so mm-hmm. um you know i told him pregame you know we got to bring our own energy you know no matter the sure. environment situation or whatever so uh we came out a little sluggish but then we picked it up and and uh, played played really well the big pass play from uh straighter to lions got you going with 50 mm-hmm. plus yards and you know you just kept doing everything i mean i didn't see anything i i know after watching the film you'll find it uh, something but oh sure yeah <laughs> you, but, all, you know it was, but, it was nice to be able to throw the ball tonight and yeah, i was you know, gonna and, ask you yeah um, we wanted to work on the passing game some so 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 we threw a little bit more and um you know i, f- I felt like uh we did a good job you know protection wise and um receivers did a good job catching the ball when they got their opportunity um duck you know dylan duckweiler had a nice catch you yes, know catch and run and of course sam and um, you know, Cam had a couple of nice ca- uh, catches here. So, you know, I was really proud. And then I thought LeBron did a good job stepping up in the pocket. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, he made a really, really nice throw um, one time on mesh and, uh, you know, stuck it right down the middle of the field there. So really proud of them. And defensively, I, you know, we, we, we were op- opportunistic. You know, we, we made some nice plays. Um, they got us on the edge a little bit. So I had to watch film and see, see exactly what was going on there. But, um, you know, overall pretty pleased. It's that same pass play that I love so much, <laughs> Sam Lyons, and I call it a slant, or you mm-hmm. just, you just, I don't know what you call it, a boomer or something last week, but whatever it was, it's open almost all the time, Coach. 
Yeah, you know, it's it's one, well, one of one of them is our RPO play, and um, you know, he's able. Sam's a really good route runner, and and uh, breaks his routes off really crisp. So he's able to get separation when he when he cuts his routes. So um, you know, he did he did that tonight. Did a good job with that, and uh, of course, you know, like I said, I thought LB did a good job getting him the ball. Getting back to offense and defense, uh, mostly offense tonight. I had you for nearly 250 yards passing mm-hmm. and almost 200 yards rushing. So, again, you're 450 yards in total yeah. offense, and the offense is, is really starting to click, isn't it? Well, it was, it was good to be balanced tonight. Um, you know, last week we had to rely on a run, which, you know, I was really proud of the guys last week and the way they uh, we were able to run the ball in those conditions, and our O-line really stepped up. And, you know, tonight we were a little bit more balanced, and, I, you know, we're, we're really dangerous when we're balanced, you know, because, you know, we can attack sure. the entire field. But, um, yeah, they're they're clicking. I mean, they're, they're, they're still working hard. You know, we're, we're we're really driving them, working them hard in practice, and um, I thought they did, I thought they responded this week again. And, of course, we got some big games coming up, so, so we'll work even harder. And uh, I told them after the game tonight, you know, we need laser focus, you know, moving in uh, on to the next couple of weeks. I look at your defense again, Coach, and, you know, the Round County scored against our JVs and freshmen, as did Greenup. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you've given up 27 points, the, the first-team defense, in four mm-hmm. games, 27 points. You're going to win a lot of football games doing that. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, defense wins championships, but, you know, we we still have some really good teams left on our on our schedule, and um, we got to continue to improve on that side of the ball. We're still not um, – playing as well as we're capable of we're still making silly mistakes and uh, um, so those are things that we're going to continue to, to focus on and, and, and work hard at and um, you know but uh, but we're we're getting better uh, week by okay. week and uh, we're doing a good job there but um, you know still 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 some things to fix and uh, you know everything's geared up for the these next two weeks for sure so uh, ne- you know our next two games should I say Boyd yeah. County and Johnson Central so um, so we, we got our work cut out and uh, you know we'll, we'll continue to improve and Work on the fundamentals. You you, you do think oh, penalties tonight? I wanted to mention that quickly. Only four. I mm-hmm. thought that was you cut down on on mistakes penalty wise tonight. Yeah, we talked about that in film this week. Um, you know, we jumped offside several times last night, just, just or last week, and had had stupid penalties, and um, really want to, you know try to play as clean of a game as we could. And uh, um, I thought the guys did a good job, you know, keeping their composure a couple times tonight, and. Um, they did a good job, obviously, up front. Our D-line didn't jump. So um, so we improved in that, you know, and, and that's one of the things we talked about on, on Monday in film. You know, when you when you play the championship-type games, you know, penalties can kill you. Yes. And uh, you can't you can't make those type of dumb penalties and mistakes when you're playing, you know, championship games. And, um, you know, di- to me, district games are all – each one of them is a championship game and um, because they, they, they go so much into determining your future yes. uh, in the playoffs. So um, – you know, one of the one of the big emphasis was cutting down on those mistakes, and, and the guys the guys did that tonight. All right, uh, you talk about the next two games next Friday night. We finally get back home. It seems like we've been on the road forever, but we really have in only yeah. a couple of weeks. But Boyd County losing tonight to Greenup, thirty six twenty five. Uh, last score we had, so uh, they're going to come in here and they're going they're coming to Putnam Stadium. They're going to be a little mad. Yeah, they'll be they'll, they'll they'll play hard. They always play hard against us. Sure. Um, you know they'll. Uh, you know, you don't have to get. You know, I coached out there my first uh, first three years of my career, so um, you don't have to get you know too too hyped up during National Week out there. That's that's yeah. a, that's a big week for yeah. them, and um, you know, and rightfully so. They're they're big for us too. So um, so they'll come in. They'll be they'll be ready to get that taste out of their mouth and, and ready to play hard and, and expect to beat us. And, and they are they're talented enough. They they have a lot. They have a really good football team. They have a lot of good players. All right, and then Johnson Central was getting beat by two touchdowns by Corbin, and they're our opponent after that. So, yeah. uh, two big district games, as yeah, you mentioned. Yeah, absolutely, and you know those those are games that we've we've had circled on our schedule, and um, you know we'll keep working hard. And um, also want to give a shout out to, tonight to Dalen Farrell, um, young Boy, did he came he, in and uh, he did a great job tonight. Yeah, he fast. Um, yeah, he. Uh, <laughs> He gets a little muscle on him. He's gonna be he's gonna be something else. But yes, uh, he is. Uh, he, he he came in he came in and ran really well tonight. And um, those guys those guys really deserved all that success that they got tonight. And um, you know I was really proud to see a bunch of guys get reps tonight and, and get in the game and make plays. As a freshman, I, I, I you know I think he's got close to 100 yards rushing tonight. Yeah, I think he, he is over. Yeah, 100. he had that big long run and yeah. Um, we gave him a hard time. He got tackled at the one I think or something. He got 
there at the goal line. He said his, like his legs went dead. Yeah. <laughs> You know, but to his credit, you know, he he, play, he actually played last night in a freshman game, so uh, so he's he's a little tired and a little, little dead leg, but uh, but yeah, those guys came in. I think um, Xavier Johnson came in and, and and got a touchdown. So yeah, um, you know, it was fun That's to see those deal. guys. Yeah, and he you know he that was an uh, he ran with authority, and um, so it's fun to see those guys come in and make plays. And um, also, you know, Luke McCoy, another freshman, you know, yeah. playing. He's actually rotating on on the D line for us, you know, with the varsity. So he he was all over the field tonight, and I thought, you know, he kind of stood out to me. But um, really, really proud of those guys. You know, we got some really good young football players coming up in the program, and um, excited to see see their future. Okay, it's time for me to brag on uh, my coach here, Chad Tackett. You win your 25th game against eight losses. Uh, your 55th overall. You're an amazing young man. <laughs> right. No, I'm not kidding you. I appreciate 15 it. 15 years as assistant, and you've been to a, you won a state championship, and, you know, you've had great teachers and great mentors and so forth and so on. You've got a great staff now, and mm-hmm. you've got great players now. Let's take someone to lead them, and Chad Tackett's our man, and and uh, 25 wins, and, and we're not done yet Yeah, for uh, year three. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Um, you know, it you know any any coach will tell you i mean you're only as good as your players and uh you know we, we have some great kids in our program right now and um we've always had great kids here and um the kids here play hard they they, they love football they believe in it and uh you know no any coach worth his grain and salt is you know it's 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 because he's got good players around him and um i got a phenomenal staff those guys do a great job you know really intense they they coach from the beginning of the game to mm-hmm. the end of the game um, they're, they're constantly coaching on the sideline and um, you know, I'm just, just blessed to have those guys around me. Um, you know, Coach Dowdy's our offense coordinator. and um, Not to just single one guy out, but, you know, he's, he's my right-hand man and, and does a great job. And he's got a brilliant um, mind. Brilliant mind, does a great job, sees football and understands the game really well. And, you know, and then the rest of our assistants, they've, they've just done a phenomenal job with these kids. They love these kids. Yeah. Um, you know, and they may not, it may not look that way during the game when we're <laughs> screaming and yelling at them, but – um, but our guys go above and beyond for these kids. And, um, you know, like I said, it, this, any success we have on the field is because of the great players we have. And you know, hat tip to those guys and all the guys that's played here since I've been in this program and with Coach Hart and Coach Love. And we've, we've had some good ones come through. Yes, we have. One final thing. Uh, before the game I was mentioning, you all go out for the, for the uh, you know, coin flip. And our team comes out. And we've got 10 or 11 coaches mm-hmm. plus yourself. And here comes Round County with their head coach and five assistants. Mm-hmm. I think that's the, the one of the big differences because why we're so successful in our football program, and that goes back to the to our entire school system. Yeah, uh, well, they, administration, board of education, whatever it takes. Absolutely. But, yeah, I mean, it, and you know, on a side note to that, you know, you when you dress seventy plus kids, you, you you've got to have enough coaches to mentor sure. them. You know, and five's not enough, and. Um, luckily, we're in a situation, um, you know, you know, with our with our school and our, our district where, you know, they place an emphasis on, you know, uh, you know, athletics as well as academics. But, um, but you know, they they allow us to, to go out and get good quality coaches that that can help mold and lead these young men. And um, you know, it may not always look like that to the public eye, but but I, but I'm really proud of the way these guys interact with our kids. And mm-hmm. you know, I said since day one when I got the job. Um, you know, we're going to be a player-led program, and uh, I, I truly believe that. I, I still feel like, you know, we are that. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we, we just try to, you know, help build these guys up and coach them and allow them to be successful. Okay. Another great win tonight, Coach. Thanks for coming up. All right. Appreciate Good it. Thank job, you, guys. Thank you, sir. Okay. Coach Chad Tack of the Tomcats as the Cats win it handily tonight, 55-7, to to go to 6-1 and one on the year, win their fourth game in a row, 2-0 and oh in the district, and now on top in the district. Uh, at two and zero, Johnson Central stands at one and zero. Greenup County will go to one and one. They're leading Boyd thirty six thirty one. Boyd will drop to zero and two. Yeah, and then uh, uh, no, Round County will be zero and one, and then Boyd will bring up the rear. They're zero and two. And Corbin leading Johnson Central now fifty forty three. Ironton and Pikeville are tied at twenty seven. Raceland hanging one on a hazard forty two to nothing. And our dear friend uh, Tony Love over at Rock Hill uh, coasting in. He's beating Gallia Academy 37-12. to So that'll do it from here. We're at Moorhead State University at Jane Stadium for Bill Cornwell 
And uh, Aiden back at the station uh, spinning the dials. And my grandson Maddox has been a big help as always. Finals this Sticky Martin. Final score again, Ashland 55. Round County 7 here on Cat Sports 93.3 and 1340.